Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. It is time. It is. Hold on, hold on. We're cutting somebody very important off. Oh, no. There we go. What's going on, everybody? It's Monday, Monday. Gotta get down on Monday. What a big night tonight. All right, let's see. It's Monday. It's a it's a last day of July, which means by the time the stream is over, we're in August. We're in August. Are you re I'm not ready for that. I realize that I'm like, whoa, 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 Matt Damon. You know what I mean? I I I wasn't I I I don't I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't think I'm ready for it. Uh, like, where did July go? I don't know. But it's good to see you guys. Uh, if it's your first time with us, my name is Alex, and we get together Monday through Friday from about 8.45, 9 o'clock in the evening, and we'll go all the way till 12, 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, talking the latest and greatest in the world of tech and games. Now, in the world of tech, we're going to look at computers, consoles, peripherals, components, everything that's going to make you a slightly better gamer. You know what that means? A lot of RGB. Ha! Um, we're also going to look at the latest games available on Amazon. That includes video games. Sure. Yeah. Hello, Pikmin 4. Um, soon, Baldur's Gate. Oh, baby. But it's, it's not, I don't think it's for sale. I don't know if it's for sale. Uh, but also tabletop games like card games, board games, uh, war games, um, role playing games. So if you play Pokemon, Magic, Yu Gi Oh, Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer, Bolt Action, uh, uh, what am I missing? Guys, guys, what are you? Dragon Ball Super. If you assemble Legos, any of that, this is the place for you. All right, so I'm really excited. I hope you guys join me for the next little bit. And when I say little bit, I mean more like three to four hours. Uh, talking the latest and greatest in video games. So I'm super excited. Let's say hello in the chat, guys. We got Barry. Allen. What's up, Barry Allen? Also known as The Flash. Also known as a very fast person. Welcome to the stream. We got Terry Quick. Welcome to the stream, Terry Quick. Thanks so much for being here. And happy uh, Monday to you, Terry Quick. How was your weekend, Terry Quick? Let me know. Up next, it's Honey Collins. Welcome to the stream, Honey. I feel I felt the sweetness when I came on, and then I saw your name, and I was like, oh, yeah. We got Amazon Customer. Amazon Customer, welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Please say hi in the chat. Welcome, Amazon Customer. We got Pudgy, the Porterhouse Steak McGee. What's up, Pudgy? Welcome to the stream. How's your weekend? Anything fun and good? Let us know. Um, let's see. We've got, let's keep going down. Playing Eve Online. Oh, my God, my God. Honeycomb's got a tattoo. Which one? I, 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 we we got to see some stuff. We got to see some stuff. Uh, picture or it didn't happen. Picture it didn't happen. Uh, we got Ed. What's up, Ed? Having questions pro, uh, about a KYY monitor. Yeah, we're going to talk about that first, actually. It's first up in the carousel. KYY monitors, his favorite. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, oh, Terry Quick had chickpea pasta. It was so starchy. Uh, but it sounds pretty good. It, I mean, I like chickpea pasta. I've had it. I've had it. I support that message. I don't have many problems with that message. I like it like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to say it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So excited, guys. It's so exciting. Exciting. Got to get down on exciting. Yep. Yep. We are on the electronics page, uh, which is exciting. Uh, and that's it. That's it. That's what we've got. That's what we've got. So I'm excited, guys. Uh, how to, anybody want to share anything about your weekend that was especially exciting? Something that really, like, uh, OMG, OMG, let us know. Let us know. It was a honeysuckle. I thought it would be cute. Also, I can't put images on Amazon Live. Give me something. Uh, well, Discord, you can join us on Discord. That's where we people show pictures of their, of their stuff. Um, that's one idea. Uh, but, I mean, you don't have to. Uh, hi. Okay, so honeysuckles, long tub tubular blooms that give off a sweet t 
tubular, tubular, whatever. Sweet scent and come in shades of yellow, white, orange, and pink. They're a perfect planting uh, if you're looking to attract hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies. As the tiny little blooms are filled with nectar, the nectar of the gods, and draw garden visitors from near and far. Um... I I mean I also I mean I barely do a lot on Twitter or is it now X I don't know but yes I am there too I am there too, um. But yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot. Uh, let me tell you about my weekend. My weekend was spent. I did two things six this weekend. Uh, well, I mean three. I play with my kids, which is always a great thing, but also. I assembled a lot of bolt action. I am like five dudes away, literally five dudes away. So we might do it tonight, guys. We might do it tonight from having everything assembled so that then I can just kind of like spray paint, you know, paint as quickly as possible and get something on the table. So that was number one. Number two, um, I've been going and going and going about fixing the... Some, some of you guys that are, have been with me for a little bit know that for the last week or so, I've been having a little bit of trouble um a little bit of trouble uh with my video card no the video card is amazing i cannot stop recommending the 7900 xt the the stuff that i've done with it is incredible the graphics everything mwah. but there's some sort of driver that is giving me issues and i'm trying to figure out what it is there's there's some combination last week i downloaded at the same it wasn't like the same day but it was kind of uh, you know, very kind of quick. A new gra uh, driver for the w for the for for uh, for that yes for that uh, for the video card. A new preview. I didn't know it was a preview. That's where I made a mistake. Maybe I don't know because no, the problem started before. The problem started before. But there's a preview of um, of a Windows update that I downloaded. I downloaded a new OBS. Uh, and all of that together, something kicked out an issue. So I've been having, I've been dealing with it. Um, I think it's the driver. Something with the driver is not speaking to other something else. Uh, so I tried for a long time to to solve it. I'm in touch with AMD. They've been they've been good so far, uh, but what they've asked me to try has not worked. So that's uh, kind of where I'm at at the moment. Uh, so I got, you know, I'm, I mean, uh, it has not worked. Let's just say it has not worked. Um, Pudge Mickey asking what you got for Pokemon. Um, I, oh, I, I, I might need to update it. I've got about, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve packs left of Paldea Evolve. The, this has got to go out this week. This has to go out this week because, here's why, because um, I believe this Friday I will be getting um, on release day from Amazon the brand new collector's chest uh, for end of summer 2023. Now, I don't really, I, I can show you a little bit what that looks like. I haven't seen it on Amazon for sale yet. Uh, which is very odd, but it, I, I, I mean, I'm a hundred percent sure, not even 99, a hundred percent sure it will, um, appear. So let's see if it appears. I don't see it. I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet, but I do believe it is essentially this year's version of this, a dark screen. No, um, this year's version of that, of that. So, uh, I think I'm going to get one or two on Friday. So if you want to put the pre-order in, let me know on Discord. Uh, and then it's possible, it is possible that at some point next week, at some point next week, we might be opening already some Obsidian Flames. So, in other words, these Paldea Evolved I have got to go this week, guys. They got to go bye, 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 bye. Don't want to be a fool for you. Oh, it's Pudgy McGee. With the 20! With the 20! Thank you so much, Pudgy McGee. Pudgy has just reserved four, no, five. Five packs of um, 
of Pal de Oval that we're going to be opening. Thank you so much, Pudgy McGee. Good to see you, and thank you so much. We got Ethan, the Zelda Pro Wheat. What's up, Ethan? Are we going to do some Zelda tonight? I think so, because the problems still remain with all my computer games at the moment, so we're going to have to. Good to see you, Ethan. Thanks so much for being here. Let's go up next to Evans. What's going on, Evans? Can you see us now? Can you see us now? Let us know. Uh, how's a picture? Is a picture quality the best ever or the second best ever? Let us know. Um, right now, Ed, Ed and Evans are having a moment of moment. For a moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. I'm running on 2% brain power right now. Great. I'm at one. So we're there. Are we, are we going to do Zelda on the KYY monitor? No. Uh, we're going to do it on the regular big monitor because it's big. Um, and KYY, the KYY monitor, we're going to showcase it at some point. Um, yeah, I don't see an update at the moment here on Amazon for that new tin can. We'll see. We'll see when it comes out. Uh, what else, guys? What else? Uh, crushed already, says Evans. Oh, no. Oh, no, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Um, what else? So yeah, so that's all I've got. So I'm dealing with that problem. So for the time being, some of the uh, computer games are out of uh, out of commission until we can figure out that issue. But anyway, um, please say hi in the chat, guys. If you're watching us for the first time, it's a big night tonight. I'm super excited. I had a pizza tonight, even though pizza is usually a Friday thing. But we didn't go to the grocery store, so we're like, what, what do you want to eat, big dude? Pizza. I'm like, okay, fine. So that's kind of what we had. Um, so that's that. I got the big dude, uh, his toy airport. I got it right here. So tomorrow when he wakes up, it's going to be kind of like Christmas. He's gonna, We're going to open it. You know, I'm going to assemble it for him, and he's going to be like, oh, my goodness. And what else? Uh, that's it for me. I think I've told you all my personal stuff. Um, tell me about you. No pineapple. Never pineapple. No, 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 no. What's up, Ava? Welcome to the stream. Ava, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy, 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 happy Friday. Monday, Monday. I thought, oh, already Friday. What? I can't wait, guys. It's Friday. I might even have for Mitch F and I don't know if Pudgy. Maybe a little bit of Commander Masters this weekend. So, oh man, what a big night. What a big night. I, I, can, I can't deal. I can't deal with the emotions. The emotions. Uh, all the emotions. We're having all the emotions. Thanks for tuning in, Ava. If anybody has any questions about any of the items in the carousel, please let me know. If you are like, wait a minute, what carousel? You should see a carousel. Oh, I just literally just hit myself. You should see a carousel. <laughs> I got the problems. Um, and you should see a carousel right underneath here. If you're on a, on, a, on a cell phone, you should see it at the bottom left. Somewhere down here, there should be like a, like a shopping bag. If you click it, the entire carousel is going to open. Now, also, throughout the carousel, you guys today are going to find several items on deal. Uh, and ex some are exclusively on deal with us. You can get an extra 10% or 15% on select items in the carousel. He, right here at the bottom left, you're going to see a, a yellow button that says claim deals. If you hit that button, then you're going to see a uh, green text all throughout the carousel. Many items that are discounted additionally. But you must take, if you want it, you got to take advantage of it right meow, right meow, all right? Because... Uh, when the stream is over, it's not going to be there no more. So you got to you got to take advantage of it while the stream is on. Now, there's one item in the carousel that I'm going to be frank with you guys. Does somebody want to check it for me? If somebody could be kind, I mean, I'll, I'll check it here. While I'm, there's uh, the key, one of the keyboards, the Yunzi keyboard. I do believe we have a discount, but it's not showing up. So I need to I need to um, I need to make sure if it works. But I'm highlighting it right now. The Yunzi keyboard that I'm using right meow. The YZ84, uh, technically, I believe, has a a, a, a whatever, but I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I have not tested it. I have not tested it. 15% is the Tilted Nation. Tilted Nation has 15%, which is a great deal. Great deal, OMG, 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 OMG. But this one, um, I got to find...
I'm checking, I'm checking live, right here live, because we might have an additional percentage. Um, so I want to double check with you guys. Oh, there's a 15% coupon, guys, on the other side of the Yunzi. So we'll definitely have to talk about that. And then do we have an extra percentage? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, stay with me just a second, because I just got this email. So like, I haven't really tested it in. Yes. Yes, yes, an additional five dollars off. All right, so let's why don't we start there then? Let's start there, right? Meow, guys. Yes, so here we go, guys. We're talking about the Yunzi YZ84 Pro. By the way, what's up, Sam Kohler? Welcome to the stream, Sam Kohler. Thanks so much for being here, Sam. Um. Hey, we got Jean Jo. Welcome to the stream. Jean Jo. Thanks so much for tuning in. You're late, though. You're late. So, you know, you, you got to pump up those numbers, Jean Jo. You're late. <laughs> Ava has a busy, busy week ahead. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say. Um. Oh, yeah. All right. We're making chicken nuggets. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Impossible nuggets? Is it impossible? If I ask Google, what do you call a man with no body and no nose? Will it trigger my IS team to shut down my work computer? No, it'll come back saying nobody knows. <laughs> mm, yeah! Meow. Um, homemade chicken nuggets. Oh, using the impossible chicken made nuggets. Got it. Very good. That sounds very yummy. That sounds very yummy. That sounds very yummy. All right, guys, why don't we start here? Let's start here tonight since uh, I was checking that right meow, guys. Right meow. Right meow. Uh, you can uh, get this Yunzi keyboard. I'm going to give you the full uh, download on it in just a little bit. Um, but I want to double check because there's a 15%. Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Give me a second. Give me a second. I, I, I did a boo-boo. Guys, guys, guys. I did a boo-boo. Hold on. Hold on. That's So normally 95 bucks, but you're taking 15% off and then five, uh, an extra 5% off. So how much is that going to run us to? Let's take a look. 76 bucks. Oh, my Damon. Yes. Oh, yes. And also, oh yes, hold on, I gotta connect my iPad that's running out of battery. Um, 76 bucks, let's talk about it guys, this is a good deal. It's a good deal, uh, if you're looking for a keyboard right now, right now, um, this is the one that is highlighted, the Yunzi YZ84 Pro, it's a 75% gasket mounted keyboard that is absolutely fantastic. You got RGB all around, very nice. It has 75% layout, so you do have the dedicated arrow keys. You have the page down, page up, and home delete, print, pause, etc. cetera. Uh, very, very light. Uh, and it's you can use it either wired, you can use it Bluetooth, or you can use it with a USB. Whichever way you prefer is, uh, you, can, you got three ways of doing it. It's a beautiful keyboard. Uh, it is hot swappable. With comes right now with yellow switches, but if you're not feeling the yellow switches or the keycaps, uh, you can change them whenever you want. What else am I missing? Uh, obviously, RGB, as you can see, with backlights not only on the front but also on the sides all around, and you can change that as you wish. Uh, it's a really nice. Really, really nice keyboard available normally 95 bucks. 95 bucks today, 15% off, and then an additional 5% off as part of our stream. That puts you down at 70, uh, 70, what did I say? 76 bucks. 
That is an excellent price for the Yunzi YC84. So uh, it's a good looking keyboard. It looks good. It feels good. Um, you just, you know, we got to get it, guys. We got to get it. If you're looking for a keyboard, that's a great way of doing it. Ava saying, uh, I love your mouse. Well, luckily for you both, the one I'm using now and the one that I'm testing that also comes in white are in the, in the care. So the glorious model. Oh, 20% uh, off at 80 bucks. It, it, this, that's for the model uh, 02. The model 02. The one that I'm using here right now is a model 0, uh, the original version. Uh, model O Glorious, uh, and I'm going to show it to you right now, currently, from what I can see, um, at 50, oh, another great deal here, take a look, take a look, 55, 19, 45% off with an additional 5% coupon right there, so that's going to put you down even further, so closer to 50 bucks um, for a wireless or wired your choice, um, RGB ultra light, super light. That's the difference between the Glorious and everybody else. Uh, these are actually uh, incredibly light, just a hair, just a hair over two ounces, two ounces. I'm not talking about two grams. I'm not talking about two kilos. I'm not talking about two pounds. I'm talking about two ounces. This is so light that uh i mean a pinky can can just kind of well i mean i can't really balance it but it is very very light and this one is the same this one is the same this is the previous model this is a model o2 this is a model o um just the differences mainly being uh, the honeycomb is a little bit different if you see one is circle the other one is more honeycomb oh honey 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 um and uh most of it is very, very uh, similar in nature. Just uh, the, 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 what do we call it? The keyboard, the logo has changed a little bit, but that's about it. So very nice from Glorious, guys. Their mice or their mouse is, and their keyboards are fantastic. You know we have them. You know we've tested them a million times, uh, and they're just good. They're just good stuff. The lights look real nice. Thank you, Ethan. I don't like the honeycomb design, says Pudgy. Don't worry, Pudgy. Um, well, then we, we, we might need to get you another set, another mouse, but it's still a good, a good mouse. Um, I have a meeting at my church. Then next day I'm getting baptized. And then the next day I have a dinner party. That sounds pretty cool, Ava. That's, that's a busy week. That's what I call a busy week for Ava. Real chicken, says Jean Jean. It's an Instagram recipe we were trying. It didn't turn out too bad. There's some fine tuning to it though. I, hey, that's great. That's, that's awesome. Um, I, and, you know, it, it's cool that you're making like homemade chicken nuggets instead of just buying, you know, frozen chicken nuggets or going to the nearest Chick-fil-A or KFC, you know what I mean? Um, so that's great stuff. That's great stuff. I wish I could, uh, I, I could have told you that I did something similar and said I ordered pizza because we don't really have a lot of food. I didn't go to the grocery store. Yeah, I don't know. You know, but pizza is always yummy. Uh, even though now I feel like I got to go work out, but it's, uh, you know, it's always yummy. So that's a glorious model O and model O2, both from glorious 20% off for the model O2 in white and black and 44% off on the model O. So great options, guys. If you're looking for mice, these are two great options. Anyone else just read the Bible just for fun? Um, Uh, may maybe somebody in the chat. Maybe somebody in the chat. Uh, what's up, Trigger W? Welcome to the stream, Trigger W, everybody. Let's say hello to Trigger W, our Pokemon Go correspondent. I did see. I got notifications all weekend long about raids. Uh, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, uh, do do we have any raid for tonight? Let us know. Let us know. Ooh, let us know. All right, so that's a model, glory, glorious model O2 and O. If you have questions about mice or mouses, please let me know. Now, let's go to one of the lightning deals for tonight. And, of course, it's a KYY portable monitor, Ed's favorite. Uh, I'm eating a popsicle before dinner just for fun. Yeah, I like that. But about Pee Wee Herman, yeah, I heard the news. That was uh, unexpected. Um, that's not, not great news. No, no. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, let's talk about the KYY portable monitor. So this one is very nice, guys. I have a Reggie Drago with CP boost. Not sure I have a big enough party yet. All right, you let me know if, if you find or ask here. Who has Pokemon Go and wants to go on a mega a raid? Let us know, guys. That's, that's what we like to do here. Play with you. So come on. I mean, I know I have to carry Trigger W and everybody else with my mega Pokemon, but whatever. You know, somebody's got to do it. All right. Let's go here to the top down. We've got the beautiful KYY portable monitor. Um, this one's coming in 23% off on a lightning deal. 80% claim, $99.99 today. Now, let me do this. First, I'm going to click through uh, so you guys see the, uh, the actual page. And then I'm going to show you the actual monitor. All right. So here we go. And the reason I wanted to click through is this. Don't be fooled, like, uh, who was it? J-Lo? J-Lo said once, don't be fooled by the rocks that I've got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Same thing here. Don't be fooled by the $99.99 price because there's a $10 coupon added to that as well. So now you're at $89.99 for a full 15.6, 1080p, full HD portable monitor. Right? Works great uh, with, with uh, PC, with Mac, with select phones, most phones, but not every phone, I believe. Uh, Xbox, PS4, Switch, etc. Now, so 15.6, just, just for reference, 15.6 is about the size of a normal laptop. So look, if you have a laptop at home or you have a laptop at work, think about it. How big is that laptop, right? Most, uh, there are, don't get me wrong, there are some laptops, right? the, the smaller ones, 11 inches, some are 13 inches, but the regular, especially Chromebooks, but the regular size laptop for work and for playing for whatever is about 15.6 inches. So that gives you an idea of the size of the KYY portable monitor. Now, remember, just because it says portable monitor doesn't mean that you need to treat as a portable monitor. You can install it on your computer with a clamp somewhere, or you can just use uh, the same stand that it comes with, which is this cover that doubles as a stand, uh, and you can use it at home as well. Uh, as a portable monitor, maybe you travel a lot for work, right? You're, you know, whatever job you do, you got to travel a lot for work. So you're, you know, going around with your laptop, but you miss your dual or triple monitor setup at home or at the office. Well, this allows you to double, essentially double your screen real estate like that. And it's extremely light. Super light. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Super, super light. So it's not going to add a lot of weight to your backpack, book pack, etc. If you're in sales and you and you got to move around all day uh, having meetings with people or whatnot, you can uh, connect this to your laptop and give it to your client. And now they have a, a monitor of their own. So you don't need to be showing yours or you don't need to be doing printouts and stuff like that. So um, it's a really, really nice one. Again, coming in at $89.99 today, not $99.99. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, close up. Ta-da. All right, so here it is, KYY portable monitor. Uh, bottom right, uh, you're going to see a micro HDMI. You're going to see two... Oh, my, my hands are dry, eh? Um, micro HDMI, two USB-Cs. Um, you got speakers on both sides, so it does come with speakers, one and two. You've got a um, volume up and down, menu, and this is the unbutton. I don't think it has battery, this one. No. All right, so I don't think it has battery. Uh, but it's a, it's a great, great deal, guys, coming in. Whoops, hold on, I made a boo-boo. There we go. Um, great deal coming in at $89.99. And as I mentioned, I'm going to put this down for a moment. Uh, it, the cover also doubles as a stand. So all you got to do is actually kind of like so and like so. And let magnets do... Wait, where is it? Hold on. I got, I got to put it down for a second to make it easier. There we go. Sorry about that. Ta-da! Right? So this, with magnets, transforms into your own uh, stand. Where we go? Alex, have you seen this new Super Mario Bros. Uh, Brothers movie? I have not. We said with Chrissy we would watch it this weekend, actually, because it's out for rent now. Uh, 
But instead, we watched The Witcher, so I did not see it. Um, if you give your KYY monitor to your clients to use, do you need to check for viruses when you get it back? No, no, because it's connected to your computer. So no worries there. I made an Etsy shop, says Ava. Very nice. What do you make? What do you make, Ava? It doesn't have a CPU in it. No, it's a monitor. Um, yeah, $10 off coupon as well. So you're at $89.99. It is a really nice... Um, it's, a, it's honestly a really, really nice deal uh, going on right now. $89.99 for a full 15.6, full HD, 1080p monitor. It's a, it's, it's, that's very nice. JBL Clip 4 is on deal today, 25% off. Let's take a look at it. All right, so here's a JBL Clip 4. On deal, 25% off, $59.95. Great portable speaker here. See, we're in the portable today. Um, yeah, Trigger W, let me finish this. Do I, have, do I have a minute? One minute? JBL Clip 4, available on Amazon today. What makes the Clip 4 what it is? Well, uh, the clip, of course. So you can actually hang it up wherever it is that you want. So whether if you're going on a walk with your baby... Uh, you can just hang it up on the stroller. If you're going on a hike, you can hang it up on your backpack. If you're going to the beach, you can just hang it up on your lounge chair. If you're going to the pool, you can do the same. It is uh, waterproof. As, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just confirm this is one that's waterproof before I say that out loud. Uh, ba -ba 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 Waterproof and dustproof. There you go. Yeah, I, I was correct. For a mo I don't know why I doubted myself, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just double check. Waterproof and dustproof. Obviously, don't completely submerge it, most likely. But if you splash it a little bit, it's going to be all right. Um, it's a great little speaker. You do have um, a little bit of rubber here at the bottom. So if you don't want to clip it onto something, you just want to put it down flat, it's not going to slide around, which is neat. Uh, and... It is very simple to use. So let's see. Um, let's see if we can turn it on. It's obviously Bluetooth enabled. There you go. And and um, let's put a, let's put a good song. Here we go. This is a good song for you guys. Um, Come on, guys. Yeah. You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I say I want it that way. But we all right. Yeah, you thought I was going to do the whole thing. No, we can't for trademark reasons. But you know what I mean? Um, oh, Sean Jones liked it. Jean Jean liked uh, being serenaded by the Backstreet Boys. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I told you I would put good music. Um, and we liked it. Dixie, welcome to the stream. Amazon customer, welcome to the stream. Ellie Maldonado, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, again, the JBL Clip 4 is $59.95, 25% off. Fantastic. Really nice one. Uh, Amazon customer, yo, what's up? Yo, back. Yo, back. What's going on? What brings you in, Amazon customer? Are you shopping for anything right now? Let us know in the chat. Now, we've got a mech. Tell me why. Exactly. Thank you, Dixie. Dixie knows what's up. Dixie knows what's up. Um, we got a raid. We got a Pokemon Go raid. So um, for those of you guys that are fans of, of Pokemon, we're just going to interrupt today's uh, festivities for just a moment like this. For a moment like this. Um, let's see if we can get this Pokemon Go raid. And then we're going to uh, continue. If I can find it. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. How's everybody doing? Happy Monday again. I hope you guys had a great start to your week. 
Hope you guys had a good start to your week. Now, there's a lot of Pokemon Go stuff uh, that you can get here on Amazon. Nintendo Pokemon Go plus Bluetooth bracelet, two-pack. Um, you got the Pokemon Go Plus available here, which is pretty cool. So there's, there's a couple of things that we can get here on Amazon for Pokemon Go. Ellie Maldonado, what's up, Ellie Maldonado? Thank you for the hello. Let us know what brings you in. What are you shopping for? What are you looking to get? Uh, I need to get a party. All right, Trigger W, I am in now. So you tell me whenever, all right? You tell me. You tell me. OMG. Guys. Guys. Is that what I think it is over there? <gasps> Charmeleon. Oh, we got to get you. We got to get you. Oof, I missed badly. Hold on, hold on. I promise I'm not that bad. Oh, I missed again. There we go. There we go. What's up, Diane S? Welcome to the stream. Oh, no. Charmeleon fled. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Let me know, um, Pokemon um, Trigger W. So let's go back. Uh, Amazon customer AV receiver. Oof, you kind of got me there. I, I don't dare I have it. Do I have an AV receiver here anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um. AV receiver. What's up, Cooper C? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Cooper C, I see a, t a check mark. If you're also a live streamer or, uh, or Amazon influencer, feel free to put in your storefront, uh, no matter what you talk about. Now, um, watching the new horror movie, talk to me soon. Mm. You like horror movies, Terry Quick, don't you? Don't you? All right, I think we're going to go in to do our Pokemon Go raid. Um, in just a second. So let me go. Diane S, let me know what brings you in. If I can help you in any way, let me know. I'm new, but learning about Amazon. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. Uh, welcome to, to Amazon. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's show everybody we're going after Reggie Drago. Come on, Nilego. Here we go. Here we go, Nilego. Here we go. Use Power Gem. Uh oh. Careful, Nilego. Careful. Use Power Gem, I said. There you go. There you go. Oh, there it went. What's up, Mitchef? Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's a Mega Bonnet. Yes. Yes. I did a Mega Evo. No way. Oh, wow. So that was my Mega Banette. Literally did like one thing. Nice. Come on, right on. Hey, we got him. We got him. I, 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 think, I feel like I did a lot. Cooper C. Um, so, sorry, I, I should mention this. So normally we get together and we chat at tech and games here on this live stream. And we have a great time. We, uh, we stream for three to four hours to talk about and preview every single item in the carousel. Every now and then, we just take a quick break. Uh, that's something related to what we do. By the way, let me show you who did the final strike. Who did the final strike? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and we play a, like a little fun game with you guys, with you, with you. So that, that we were playing with all of you or many of you guys that are watching. Uh, so let's see if we can catch him, and we're going to go right back, right back, right back. Oh, that was awful. To, um, to showing all the biggest deals available on Amazon right now. Some of them, of course, have to do with Pokemon, because I have a... Um, oh, wow. I'm not doing very good here. There we go. Uh, some of them have to do with Pokemon, uh, which is a topic that we discuss every... Uh-oh that we discuss every single week here on the channel or every single day here on the channel. Obsidian Flames comes out this upcoming week, uh, next week, actually. And we do have a couple binders also. Oh, man. Um, 
uh, that we showcase often. I also teach people how to play Pokemon TCG live here on Amazon Live very, very often. So if you, if somebody, if you're right here, anybody watching, and you want to learn how to play um, Pokemon TCG, the card game, uh, I will teach you right now live on, on Amazon Live. Um, that Because that's what we do. I don't think I want to get him, huh? Oh, man. Getting complicated. Let's see. Oh, when it doesn't, he it, it doesn't want to go, huh? He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. Here's a little bit more food. He didn't like it, it looks like. Ah, almost, almost. I thought we got him. I thought we got him. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's a nice throw. Come on. Come on, Reggie Drago. No! I only have four balls left, guys. Four balls left. Come on. Come on. Nice, nice. Come on. No! Why do you do this to me, Reggie Drago? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why? Why don't do this to me? Come on. Come on. Come on, that's a great throw. No, Reggie Drago, why? Why do you hate me, Reggie Drago? No. No, I am down to two balls. I've got two balls. No, come on, Reggie Drago. Why? Come on. Another great throw. Another great throw. Come on. Come on. No, Reggie Drago. No, please. Reggie Drago, why did you do this to me? Come on. Mm, mega power. Mega power. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Why, Reggie Drago? Why? Why? Oh, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, guys. I couldn't do it. No, why? Let me go back here for a second. Um, let me go back, 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 back. Ava saying, how was your day? It was great. Until now, Reggie Drago, why do you do this to me? Why? Uh, Ellie saying, what's your Insta? I don't really have Insta. We do have YouTube, uh, Twitter. Um, I have a personal Insta that I, in TikTok, of course, TikTok. Uh, but uh, I haven't fully turned tic uh, Instagram to actual gaming Wii stuff. Um, thank you, Jean Jean. You rock socks. Jean Jean put there our link tree. Feel free to check that out. At the bottom, you're going to find every single. Uh, social network in which we're on. So please, please join us wherever you want. We're there. And join our Discord too, Ellie. Join our Discord. We, I promise we have fun. Cooper, see, I was mobile gaming news channel, but I'm interested in doing more product reviews, tech products and stuff. Glad to be here. Well, Cooper, thank you so much. Mobile gaming news channel. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm, you know, it's funny. Pokemon Go is probably the only mobile game that I review. Normally, uh, what we do here at nighttime, it's... Um, Video games, of course, yeah. We'll take a look at a console, PC, etc., uh, and also tabletop stuff. So we'll look at tra that's why I was saying trading card games like Pokemon, Magic: The Gathering. We'll look at R R G R uh, yeah, pfft, RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, we'll look at war you know war games, tabletop uh, such as Warhammer 40k, Bolt Action stuff like that, and and board games. I want to get a little bit more also into board games. Uh, I have a, you know, obviously the, the, the big ones, Monopoly, Clue, of course I have those, uh, but I want to try and get a couple of other ones as well. So that's kind of what we do here every night. Uh, and we do mostly product reviews. Yes. Uh, except for a little fun here in Pokemon Go. Obviously if there's news about Pokemon Go. We talk about them. Uh, if uh, news about any game, we'll talk about it. Uh, and when a new game comes out, I usually preview it here. I, sometimes I'm able to get it before release and we'll sort of preview it and talk about it so you guys can decide whether or not you want to get it. But it, 
but again, I don't really do a lot of mobile gaming. We do more um, console or PC gaming. Um, what's up, Mitch F? Welcome to the stream, Mitch F. Are you feeling better? I hope you're feeling better. I might get some Commander Masters this week. Hashtag just saying. Just saying. Good to see you, Mitch F. I make earrings, by the way. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Uh, feel free, not here, but if you want to put it on our Discord, feel free to do that. Um, let's see, let's see, who else? Um, Cooper C, is this the only place you stream? Uh, yes, we also stream, uh, I'm technically live right now on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, but uh, the YouTube channel, I neglected it for a long time and we're now just getting back into it, so... Um, and soon we're going to also be live streaming on TikTok. That's the idea. Uh, good. Glad to hear that, Mitch F. Glad to hear that. Uh, so what else, guys? So, all right. Anyway, so thank you so much. Let's give it up. A big round of applause. <laughs> For our Trigger W, our, our Pokemon Go correspondent, who invited us to the Reggie Drago raid that uh, I, I had the final, the final strike but we were not able to catch it. Were you able to catch him, Trigger? Are you still here? Did you catch him? Let me know in the chat. All right. Uh, so we're going to keep going on, on deals of the day. And the next one is one that is close to my heart. I didn't either. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't nice. It wasn't nice to me. Um, all right. The next item. I'm actually going to show you guys how you roll a... Uh, a 20, um, you know, and the technique, lol. So the Ciara Q, D and D polyhedral, polyhedral dice are on deal. They come in a nice little bag like this. They come in different colors. I have this one, the, the one in the, in the carousel, is just a little different. It uh, has a little bit of green, but essentially you get all the nice colors. I mean, all the nice dice that you need for D and D. So if you've ever played D and D, you know that for example, you need a D six, obviously a D six. Okay, a 5 out of 6, we'll take that. You need a D10 for damage. Okay, 7. Okay, good. A D100 is not very much used on on uh, d and but it's used, for example, in Warhammer RPG and other RPGs. A 70, okay, not bad. Uh, next up is a D12, also used primarily for damage in D&D, &D, 9. Uh, we got a D8. Oh, an 8. Watch out, guys. And here comes a D20. Here it comes. This is massive. I'm going to show you. If you want to roll a 20 every time on a D20, you got to make the die dance. Make, make it dance like if it's dancing the tango. Oh, that's it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of cha-cha. Uh, yeah, cha-cha real smooth. And then you let it go. You let it fly like a peacock. You let it fly like a peacock. Here we go. One, two, and... Mm. All right. So that was in a 20. But I think it's because it uh, it hit the keyboard. So I'm going to try it again. Here we go. Dance the tango, fly like a peacock. Mm. All right. So I did, that didn't... Uh, today, today that uh, technique didn't work. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Uh, great set of dice. Oh. Josh says, but Josh cannot says, comprehend Badoof cannot what just comprehend transpired. What just happened. Precise, precise moment in space and time. This is time. hard to watch. This is hard to watch. What do you mean? That was excellent dice rolling. It just, I think the die, it might be weighted or broken. You know what I mean? But the CRQ, what's up, Josh? P, 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 Welcome to the stream. What's going on? Did you take the day off today? Did you take the day off? I can see that with Eve. I couldn't get anywhere with the game when I tried playing it a few years ago. Yeah, it takes a long time. Pudgy wants to open some Pokemon cards. Yes, let me finish the deals and we're on it. Uh, literally five minutes. That's all I ask, Pudgy. Five minutes. Thank you so much. Ciara Q, D and D polyhedral dice again on deal. Uh, a set of all of these. Um, Four eighty nine. Four eighty nine. Nice deal there. If you want to get into D and D, if you maybe are a DM and you just want to collect some extra dice for the table, whatever you want. Four eighty nine. Right there. Um, the last deal that we have today of uh, deal of the day is the Omen 45L. Omen 45L is coming in at $21.99.99. Um, 
Ava, what's Discord? It's uh, it was uh, linked a little bit earlier with our link tree. I'll link it again. I'll link it again. You can find it right here on that link tree right there. Oh, thank you, Jean Jean. Thank you, Jean Jean. Just uh, copy and paste that onto a new uh, t uh, browser or new tab, and you're gonna see uh, the second link is join our Discord server, and that's that's all you gotta click. Um. So Omen 45 l is actually very similar to the one that I have here. Let me show you. I will show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Josh PPPPP is saying company is moving to a smaller building and only doing shipping. I'm using up the rest of sick time off this week because we're... Oh, wait, what? Hold on a minute. Um, so, so... Okay, so the company is moving to a smaller building. Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Josh. Is it a, an opportunity to jump onto something more exciting? Do you have something that you saw that you're like, oh, you know what? Now this is my chance to maybe do something maybe that you wanted to do for a bit. I'm sorry, though. I mean, that's, uh, that's a bummer to end the summer. Um, I don't know, maybe you have something planned, something lined up, or or, 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 or some sort of a lead. Let me know. 20 years. Oh, Matt Damon. Oh, no. I didn't know you were there 20 years. Um, yeah, that's just no good. That's just no good. I'm sorry, Josh. Uh, yeah, that's just... It's funny, like, you mentioned that, uh, like, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, I remember, you know, where I was chatting with Chris, I'm like, you know what, I haven't updated my resume, and I was like, I don't even know how to update a resume, who, how do resumes look like today, I don't know what was the last time I updated mine, so, um, I feel you there, I feel you there, yeah, and I was asking Chrissy, do people still read uh, cover letters, do people still read cover letters, does anybody know that in the chat, let me know, you, do I, is it Yukune or Yukune? Yukune? I'm going to go with Yukune. Welcome to the stream, Yukune. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, hold on a minute. Three, two, one. Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. All right, let's go over here. So there you go, guys. You got the Omen. I have the 30L, not the 45L, but it's a very similar model. Main difference is going to be the case is a little bit bigger on the 45L. That's why you have two additional fans, which this one only has one RGB fan. Um, and then, But they both have this to the left side, which is a full glass panel. Now, it's very easy to take off if you, wanna, if you need to get in there to do some work like I did today. Um, or clean it or whatever you want to do. Now, this one in particular, mm, I need to fix something with uh, with this particular scene, so sorry about that. Uh, so this allows you to look inside of your computer. Uh, it is RGB, so if you, I just have like a light on, but if you wanted to make it any particular color or anything, let me, let me know. Uh, you can do that as well. Now, when it comes to components for the 45L, they're pretty much top of the line that you can get. It's an i7 13700, a 4070 Ti, and 16 gigs of RAM, and an NVMe SSD. So you're getting everything you need to, for a top of the line computer. It's going to look good. It's going to perform well. You're going to be able to play all the games that you need. So it's a really nice deal, $21.99. Sure, it's not. I'm not saying it's cheap. But it's a good deal. You're saving some money. And when we're talking about value, here, here, here's a big word, value. 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 $21.99 for a top-of-the-line computer is really not that. It's, it's a good deal. It's, it's, it's a good deal. So check it out, guys. Again, $21.99. Um, right, let me go back. Um, hey, what's up, Aiden? Welcome to the stream, Aiden. You said it would be on Tuesday. I'm on every night, Aiden. A a every week night we're on. So if I, uh, I don't, was I not? I was on last Tuesday, wasn't I? 
When did I get sick? It wasn't last week. It was the week before. So, I, you know, yeah. That was on Friday. All right. So we actually did a surprise stream on Saturday afternoon. Some of you caught us there. Uh, and then here we are, as always. Here we are. All right. Uh, now, I have a request. I have a request to open some Paldea Evolve. Do you guys think we should uh, maybe take a look at Paldea Evolved? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Pudgy, are you ready? Chat, are you ready to see if we find some big cards? Do it, says Michef. Do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, let's talk, before we open them, let's talk about a po Pokemon, the card game, guys. So, ta -da. so let's talk about it, guys. Pokemon, the card game, uh, a very famous card game featuring all your favorite Pokemon, including Pikachu, Charizard, uh, Eevee, and whoever, whatever Pokemon you like, uh, you're going to be able to find in the TCG, and depending on the uh, on the expansion. Now, the latest one that came out in early June was Paldea Evolved. So we went back. We're in the Paldea region, thanks to Scarlet and Violet. If you played Scarlet and Violet, the video game, uh, out on the Nintendo Switch, fantastic, by the way, if you haven't played it, do play it. Uh, we are in the Paldea region in the TCG, and this is the second set of the Scarlet and Violet series in Paldea, where we're featuring for the first time the full evolutions of the starter Pokemon, Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Fuecoco. Alongside that, a lot of trainers, a lot of cool Pokemon that are from uh, the Paldea region. And what I wanted to show you, for example, is that right there is the box that we're taking a look at. Uh, super cute, super cute, super cute, number one. But also uh, a fantastic buyer, $34.99. It comes with 10 packs inside, sleeves, uh, um, a special Pikachu promo card, and much, much more. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, by the way, I'm watching it while having a headache. I'm sorry, Ranch. I, ho I hope the, the headache gets better. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to open five packs. Uh, Pudgy, do me a favor. Give me five numbers, one through 12, I think. One through 12, five numbers, one through 12. And we're going to open those packs uh, and see if we get anything big. And that will give you an idea of the kind of cards you can get in Paldea Scarlet and Violet, Paldea Evolved, excuse me. Uh, the next set actually comes out not this Friday, next Friday, August the 11th. Mark down those calendars. Obsidian Flames will be out. And for the first time in the Scarlet and Violet series, we are going to have a chance at finding the big Charizard. Now, if everything goes well, I'm crossing my fingers. I ask you guys to cross them as well. Um, maybe next Monday or Tuesday, I might have already... Uh, some pre-release uh, packs of Obsidian Flame. So if you're into po uh, Pokemon TCG, for sure, write down on your calendar, write me out next Monday because I'm hoping to have some packs. Maybe, I can't promise. I'm trying to get some early release packs. And number two, this Friday for Pokemon TCG, there's a brand new release of a collector chest that is not yet on Amazon, but I know it will be because they all are. Um, so I can't preview it on Amazon, um, but it will be out and hopefully we're going to get it and maybe we're going to open one so you guys can see what's inside. Uh, Thor at your door. Uh, oh no, I got to go catch it. No, just kidding. Just kidding. One, four, six, nine, and 12. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. That's it. All right, guys. Can we get in the chat? We need everybody. Everybody watching. Come on, everybody. You too. You too. Come on. Come on. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Can we give some good vibes to Pudgy McGee? Pudgy is looking to get a big card. Will he be able to find a big card? Let's get some good vibes in the chat. Good luck. Uh, you know, magic hands of magical nature. You call it. Let's go. Best of luck to Pudgy Muggy. Let's see if we can find some big cars for Pudgy uh, in Paldea Evolved. Here we go. Here we go. Take a deep breath, everybody. Take a deep breath. And we begin with 
uh, Sykes. It's Sandy Gast. Tarantula. Mark Rowe. Miss Drevis. Heracross. Kilowattro. Azumarill. In the first reverse, notice how this is a reverse foil. Because it, it, it does shine a little bit. It's Wingle. In the second, Meryl. So you got Meryl and Azumarill. And in the back, it's Fortress AX. What a big card for Pudgy McGee. Not a bad start, Pudgy. Not a bad start. And as you guys know, we are using Titan Shield sleeves and top loaders to protect our cards. So, if you guys, if you yourself, if you collect Pokemon or Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! or Dragon Ball Super, or Flesh and Blood, check out uh, our uh, Titan Shield offerings here in the carousel today because there's some really uh, nice deals. So you can take an additional 15% off exclusively through our channel, all right? Exclu or sports cards. Thank you, Jean Jean. Jean Jean, thank you so much. That is correct. Um, I'm highlighting right now inner sleeves. Uh, for your binders and top loaders, regular playing sleeves, as well as top loaders. All of them available 15% off today. So please take advantage of that if you're looking for something like that. Thank you, Titan Shield. Uh, let's go back down here. And um, that's a nice card for Tracy X. Let's put that there. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. All right. All right. Pack number two. Pack number two. Uh, we got Metal. Slowpoke. I just watched an episode of Slowpokes on uh, uh, the next Netflix series. Rock Rough. Lid Leo. Pommy. Taxi Crook. Guru Electrode First Reverse Phalanx Second Combi And in the back Slacking Holographic Slacking uh, Very nice Very nice By the way Everybody should have received A package over the weekend If you didn't Let me know all right, we got it. Five. Rookity. Magnemite. Phalanx. Combi. Electrode. Okay. Vigoroth. Pink Kirchen. First reverse, we got a Dendra. Second. Practice Studio. One in the back. It's a Copperaja EX. Another nice card. Another nice card for Pudgy Moogie. Very nice. Very nice. Two packs to go. Two pack magic. Two pack magic. Two pack magic. Here we go. Let's go up next. We begin with Fa, Fa, Miss Drevis, Sneasel, Gothita. Oops. It's Meryl, followed by one of the new Pokemon, the Graphi. Ay, 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 ay. Sea Titan, Faulkner, Fresh Reverse, Quaxley. Second. Electro, and in the back, it's a Luxray, holographic Luxray. Final pack, last pack of Magic. Last pack of Magic. We need all the Magic. Come on, Magic, come to us. We got more metal. Glimit, followed by Fricks, Fridgy back, sorry. Tender Mouse, Sprigatito. Pomo. So you got Pommy Pomo now. Tinkatuff. Come on, Bravery Charm. Fresh Reverse. Rookity. Second. 
Rapska, and in the back, an earthworm. That's it. That's a tweet. All right, so we got two uh, two nice hits out of five packs. That's not terrible. Fortress EX and Koparaja EX. Oh, we got something. Josh Basks, do you think this is a game? Get better at opening packs and building Legos. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch him. Gotta catch him all. all right, let me put this aside for Pudgy. Thank you, Pudgy. We're back. We're back from outer space. All right. Good pulls, huh? Good pulls. Uh, wrench. Um, yeah, so they, these are pre-reserved uh, on Discord or, or on the side. What I always offer is if you're new to the channel and you've never gotten one, I will give you one uh, on the house. So if you want one, uh, I will give you one on the house. And that's it. The next one uh, in the future, you're going to need to uh, to get. So if you want one, choose a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One through seven, choose one number. One number, one through seven. Seven. There it is. All right. Best of luck, wrench. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. One beginning with grass. Giraffe rig. It's tropius. It's a great ball. Uh, we got Hopip. Miss Magius. Bramblegast, Superior Energy Retrieval, First Reverse, Tad Bob, in the second, it's Tinker Tough, and in the back, Glamora, Glamora, Holographic Glamora, and that's it, thank you Wrench though, appreciate it, thank you Wrench. And wrench, if you want that pack, if you want it, you're gonna need to get in need to get in touch with me either via Discord email somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. Ava wants to do one. Ava, do you want one also? There's it's always one for the first time. And then uh, the rest, that's it. So if you want one, you um you, you can pick one through six. Three. One, two, three. All right. Best of luck. Best of luck to Ava. Ava, come on, Ava. Come on, Ava. Maybe. Come on, Ava. Uh, we got Grass, followed by Tropius. Ethan's favorite. Tropius. We got a great ball. Hop it. Oh my mama 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 makuhita. See Titan. Corvenite. Dodon Sparse. Dudun. Dudun. Watro. Oricorio in the second reverse. And in the back, it's Hariyama. Hariyama. Holographic Hariyama for Ava. Thank you, Ava. Hope you enjoyed those. Uh, as, as I just said, uh, if you want these, you got to get in touch with me either via Discord or email, and I'll send them over.
All right. All right, guys. All right. Uh, that was fun. That was fun. Was that fun? I think that was fun. I feel like that was fun. I feel like that was fun. All right. How's everybody doing? Any questions about any of the items in the carousel? Anything at all? Anything you're like, oh, wait a minute. I want to get that. Or I want to get that other thing. Or maybe that other thing over there. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. And I will keep going. We'll keep going. Great deals tonight. Uh, hopefully tonight maybe we can go... Um, uh, maybe do a little bit of uh, Zelda. Or try to finish off the bolt action, guys. Uh, take a look. Built the uh, the half truck, German half truck with a anti tank gun uh, in the front and a uh, uh, MG42 in the back. Obviously, it's got to be painted now, but that's fully built. And then we built uh, some German troops. That we got to paint. More German, more German troops. Whoops. More German troops. I have no idea how to get that a gray. Uh, there, there's, you know, that gray uniform. Uh, we've got a, uh, one with a bazooka, a Panzerfaust, and another uh, MG42 on the move. So we got I got these done over the weekend. I got five more. These I gotta do these five more again. Uh, and then we'll have everything ready to go for a game of bolt action. I, then I'm just gonna have to paint it. Uh, so this plus another squad that looks exactly like this uh, is gonna go up against uh, American paratroopers. Led by or accompanied by something that is in the chat today, and we're talking about the Sherman. Where's the Sherman? Sherman, 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 Sherman. There's a Sherman, 13% off today, 13. Here it is. Here's a Sherman fully built and ready to go. Uh, so we've got the Sherman. We've got pretty much everybody built, just five more Germans, uh, and then it's uh, painting, and hopefully we can do a preview game of what that plays like uh, next week. Now, of course, uh, we're, um, we've already painted Warhammer 40k. Uh, here are some Necrons that we've painted, and we're about ready to go. Uh, I tried to do a, a game this past week. I had some technical difficulties, but I'm hoping to fix those items uh, and maybe try to do one this week. So... Necrons, 40k, uh, Germans, bolt action, and more uh, tabletop games coming very soon. So please, if that's something of interest, or if you want to learn, let me know. I will teach you how to play uh, regardless, all right? Um, that kind of brings me, since we're talking about games, we might as well sort of talk about games. There is a games workshop, so an easy way, if you've never, ever, 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 ever uh, built or painted a model and you're like I don't know if this is for me or not start with something small 2975 gets you three three necrons like these and the paints that you need and a paintbrush everything you need to get to this and see if you enjoy it and if you enjoy it then you can get the rules which are free and you can play the game 2975 there from Games Workshop. The brand new edition of Warhammer 40k is out right now. Came out in July. So it's a brand, brand new. We're a month into 10th edition uh, and so far. So good. Now, let's jump. Hey, Alex, I got something if you want to accept me on your figure sample. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a 3D printer. So I kind of can't. What's up, Kenneth? Welcome to the stream, Kenneth. Thanks so, so much for tuning in. Everybody, let's welcome Kenneth. Kenneth, what brings you in? Anything in particular? Are you shopping for something? Is there something that we have in the carousel that you, that you might like? Let us know. Oh, 
Oh, yes. All right. I'm highlighting now the D&D um, uh, essential skit today because I'm hoping to, again, start the D&D sessions this Friday. I did. Um, Kenneth, nothing in particular, but really liking the character. Well, first of all, Kenneth, thank you so much for the comment. I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> oh, don't cry, Josh. Why are you crying? Tell me why. Um... Why, um, what was I going to say? See, now I lost train of thought. Thanks, Josh. Um, oh, Kenneth. That's where I was. Kenneth, if you don't mind me asking just for conversation sakes, what do you like about the carousel? Are you more of into tech? Are you into games, tabletop games? Let us know. Uh, my name is Alex. Welcome to the stream. We chat every single uh, weeknight, Monday through Friday from about 9 p.m. And we'll go till midnight, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, talking the latest in tech, the latest deals in tech, uh, as it relates to gaming a little bit more, uh, and, uh, and games, of course, video games, tabletop games, and the like. So let me know if any of that sounds, what, if anything, sounds remotely interesting, but we're live every night. So... D and D, I did have uh, somebody reach out. Ruben Bautista, welcome to the stream, Ruben, or Ruben, depends how, uh, depends where you live, I guess. Ruben or Ruben, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know. Oh, I thought you said, do you have Blood Bowl? Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh, that's another game, by the way, that we play, Blood Bowl. Um, from Games Workshop. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So news, 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 news in terms of D&D &D and the Dragon of Ice Pirate Peak Adventure. I did have somebody reach out to me today. Um, I don't know if they're going to do it because that's when I officially... It's somebody that played on in a local store here. So they it's not like they 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 heard about the stream, but uh, there's a local store here where I left a quick message saying, hey, if anybody's looking for an online game, we do one on uh, Friday nights. Uh, and somebody reached out. Um, somebody reached out with interest of potentially joining the the party. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, I'll let you guys know because that's then I kind of broke the news of like, hey, so this is on a live stream. There's going to be an audience. People are going to be watching and I haven't heard back. So we'll see. Hopefully. Um, but the goal is for this Friday or an upcoming Friday to start this adventure, the Dragon of Ice Pirate Peak that comes with the D&D Essential set. Now, if you've never played D&D, you're in luck because uh, this is an introductory adventure and our goal here is to review products and also to teach, to get you into some of the things that we like uh, to, to see if you find it interesting. So that's why we opened some cards for Pokemon a little bit ago. That's why I always offer, if you want to learn to play Pokemon TCG, we can literally, I will stop and I'll teach you. Same with Magic the Gathering. Same with Warhammer. Same with Bolt Action. Same with Star Wars x Wing, which I'll talk about momentarily. So any of those get Blood Bowl also. Uh, any game that we have in the carousel, that means that we play it. And if you want to learn how to play it, uh, then I will teach you. And then you can put that order in through Amazon. That's kind of the idea. So if you want to learn to play D&D, &D, maybe you've never played it before, but you've heard about it. And you're like, hmm, that sounds interesting, maybe. Then either come this Friday and watch. Uh, hopefully we can get the game underway because there's some people on vacation. So hopefully we'll see if we have everybody back. Um, if you want to learn to play, you can come play with us. Even if you have no idea, I will literally teach you and kind of show you the ropes, uh, as will the rest of the, of the party. Uh, and you'll see how to play Dungeons and Dragons live here on Amazon live. Now, let me go back here to the chat. Gotta go, Alex. Uh, amazing stream. Thank you so much, Ava. Hope to see you again very soon. All right. Hope to see you tomorrow. 
Uh, Kenneth, Kenneth, give me a reply and I missed it. Give me a moment. Ruben or Ruben, please say hi in the chat. There's Kenneth. Definitely tech. I'm more into indie-ish uh, tabletop RPGs that I never play, but I thought this would be a really good spot to keep an eye on. Well, yes, so that's what we do. We tech deals as it relates a little bit more to games, right? So we'll look at computers, computer peripherals, computer components, or so keyboards, mouses, headsets, microphones, controllers, and then we'll look at consoles, and we'll also look at some video games. And then, yeah, we'll talk about RPGs and stuff like that. Uh, I, I'm not into like, for example, Pathfinder, not that I don't like it. I've just never gotten into Pathfinder. I do have a uh, Warhammer RPG, uh, Warhammer fantasy RPG, which is great. Uh, and of course D and D, um, which one, uh, which one have you heard of or which one have you played? Let me know. I gotta see people play D and D. I'm hoping like we're trying to do it on a Friday uh, but uh, one of our party members has been, you know, uh, MIA. Uh, then another one that showed some interest, uh, name will remain un unnamed, uh, got sick. Um, somebody else, one or two people from the previous adventure got busy, are busy. It happens, life happens. So they haven't been able to start again and come back. So we have two people that are really ready to go. We probably need a third or a fourth and we'll be good to go. Um, and keep going down. Um, yeah, we do, we do Call of Duty. Right now, I'm having a little issue with my video card, uh, so I can't do it. But, uh, you know, we are, um, you know, we uh, we're getting into it. We're getting into it. We're trying to solve it. Played a little bit of D&D &D before. My only intro to Warhammer is the Vermintide games. Vermintide is amazing, eh? Hold on a minute. Vermintide is really good. What's your favorite class in Vermintide? Mmm, yes. Vermintide, I, I think I've only played it here live on the channel once. Um, but uh, that, I, I love that game. I, I, that's, that's a very, very good, uh, Warhammer game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to RPGs, we do D and D and we try to do a, a, a live D and D every week in the summer. It's been a little complicated because people, you know, vacations or stuff like that. Or so like it's, uh, hopefully we're going to start again soon. I like the rogue elf. Okay. I use the first archer subclass. Um, the wood elf. Is, is she a wood elf? I think she's a wood elf. Um, I can't remember. Is she just a rogue? I can't remember if she had like a name. It's not the handmaiden or shield maiden because um, that's a tank class. It's not the way stalker. Um, Way Stalker is the actual. Uh, um, I can't remember the other ones. Also, oh, it is a Way Stalker, right? Isn't it the Way Stalker, the, the shooter? Um, great game. That that's such a fun game. Uh, I usually I'm the dwarf. I like to play uh, either um, Iron Breaker. Yeah, I, Iron Breaker most of the time. I think. Or uh, engineer, engineer or iron breaker. Uh, Ariana Mercier, welcome to the stream, Ariana. Thanks so much for tuning in. It is good to see you. It is good to see you. Happy Monday, Ariana. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend full of fun, laughter, and emotion, and all the things? All the things? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, let me know. Good. Now, if you like that Warhammer, there's Warhammer RPG also. So this is another item that's available on Amazon, the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, which is a, a much, it's a little more complicated 
but also really fun, different from D and D. Don't get me wrong, D and D rock sucks. I, I I enjoy D and D. It's a great uh, intro to any RPG. It's not that complicated and uh, it's fun. Uh, this one, it's it's just a different role play. Uh, obviously, set in the old world, uh, it is much easier to get uh, in the game. Um, but it's also a little bit more complicated. Uh, oh, Josh PPPPPPP, by the way, is another uh, another uh, Warhammer player, but he plays uh, Total War Warhammer 3, which uh, I haven't played because of the issues I've had with the video card. But, um, you know, uh, another war. And uh, I think Jean Jean, Jean Jean is uh, also a fan of Warhammer Fantasy, uh, if I remember, Slayers. Particularly Gotrek and Felix. Mm -hmm. Out of hot takes is Ethan. I have not played Mothership. A sci-fi horror RPG. Mm. I haven't played it. I have not played it. I'm always open to trying it, trying new things, but for me to try it, it needs to be sold on Amazon, is it? It is not. It is not. I don't think I see it. I see other things that are mothership, but are not. I don't think. I don't see it on Amazon. Oh, wait. Lone Star Solar Rules. Oh, Solar. There's something for Solar Rules. It's a supplement for Mothership RPG. Oh, and there's some stuff. Uh, Fear Factory for Mothership. So there's uh, some, like, it looks to me like some adventures. But not the actual game. So, I mean, maybe. we. I don't know if we can. Maybe. Um, Alien Inspired Hey, that sounds pretty good to me That sounds pretty good That sounds fun A little bit scary um, I, like, I, I know nothing about it I don't know if it works off a D20, D100 system Or how it works So I don't need to do research But thank you for bringing it to my attention I, I was not familiar with it um, The Adventures of Godric and Felix Probably the best books ever written, written excuse me, in uh, in uh, Warhammer Fantasy. IMO, IMO, IMO. Available here on Amazon, the third omnibus. Second, and you got to start with the first. I think I've read the first. I don't think I've read the second and third. Uh, and I don't know. At one point, they kind of like just, you know, with uh, all Age of Sigmar or whatever, like, it's just not good. But um, it's good stuff. I don't know. I don't know where Pudgy went. I don't have a camera in this room. I've been waiting for a Metro Prime 4. I'm just giving up hope now. Well, last we heard, it is still in development. It is still in the development. So it's coming. At some point, it's coming. Now, if you like uh, Metroid, they did mention there's a rumor going out that Metroid Prime 2... The remake is about to come out. Um, now, I don't know when because they've announced a ton of stuff for the second quarter. So if you remember, did you play the first uh, Metro Prime remaster that just came out in February? That was mega good. Uh, all right, Wrench. Have a great night. Thank you so much for just tuning in today. And I hope to see you again soon. Um, I like Metro. Metro Dread was to me one of the best games I played. Uh, at least of twenty twenty one, was it? What a good game! Um, and Metro Prime Remastered also another great game. Also another great game. Uh, all right. So we spoke about Bolt Action. We got the Sherman ready, and now the half truck for the Germans. Uh, we spoke about D and D. We spoke about Warhammer. 
Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition is on deal today, 30% off at $33.56. So what is this, guys? And I've got it I've got it up here. We've done demos many times of this game. Um, think of a dogfight. You know, you think of uh, the Star Wars dogfights uh, of TIE Fighters versus um, X-Wings. Think of that on a tabletop where you decide the movement of your ships and you throw dice to see if your laser is pew pew or not pew pew. That's really the, the idea. It's squadron versus squadron. So you can have a squadron of X-Wings with like an A-Wing uh, and then against TIE Fighters and then the Millennium Falcon can pop in, etc. All your favorite ships from the Star Wars universe are available in Star Wars X-Wing. Uh, the game is in its second edition, now taken over by Atomic Games, Atomic Mass Games, excuse me. Uh, and it's a really fun game. Perfect uh, if, if, if you and your significant other, your kids, your friends are into Star Wars. Uh, it's a dog fighting game in space. And one of the only ones that are this kind of game where everything already comes pre-painted and assembled. So if you're like, oh, man, I like everything that you talk about, right? I like bolt action and, uh, and Warhammer 40K and all that. But, man, I, I don't have the time to sit down and, uh, and assemble and paint dudes. I get it. So that's why. That's why you could choose instead to get... Um, Star Wars X Wing, for example, the Millennium Falcon already comes fully pre painted, pre assembled, ready to go with all the rules. Uh, and you also have, for example, this, uh, this actually comes with a starter set, uh, which is one X Wing, which could be Luke Skywalker and Red 5, right? So already pre assembled, ready to go. Uh, so it's uh, out of the box and ready. Very cool and uh, on deal today, 30% off. Uh, what else do we have in terms of games? Since we're talking about games, we might as well finish. Magic the Gathering, uh, the starter kit, available 27% off today at $10.99. So this... So this is super, super, super simple, guys. Super, super, super simple. Essentially, what you're going to get here is two sets that are... Um, or two decks, I should say. Two decks are roughly balanced against each other and all the rules a little starter kit with a play guide of how to play the game uh and you just open it up and you get to play the game that's it learn to play magic the gathering with this little starter set uh and two ready to go uh decks so that way you don't have to think about oh no well how do i build a deck that sounds complicated what do i do somebody call matt damon uh, you don't need to call them because you, these will, two will come already pre-prepared, ready to go. All you got to do is shuffle and play. 27% uh, off at ten ninety nine. All right, guys. Any questions so far? We've gone through a lot of the game stuff, some of the other stuff. Is there a game that teaches how to shut down one half of your brain at a time? That would be nice. You know, there there's certain, uh, I think, whales. Whales, is it? that are able to do that, shut down half the brain and uh, swim, but also be the other side of sleeping. All right, let's see. Any, um, so far so good? Yep, 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 yep. No questions. How's everybody doing Monday night? Anybody got um, end of summer plans? Going anywhere? Doing anything? Uh, we're about three weeks away from school starting for most people. Now what I realize is I forgot to... Okay... I'm going to close this. I'm just closing a couple windows that I had open. Too many windows open.
I'm going to see the Baker on Thursday, and I'm going to a concert on Friday. That sounds pretty good. What's uh, what's a concert or what's what is the Baker? The Baker movie. Action adventure. Oh, Ron Perlman. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, okay, mm, okay. An early elderly baker must do everything he can to save his missing son and protect a granddaughter he never knew existed from mob hitmen. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Have a good one, Pudgy. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for letting us open some packs tonight. Uh, thanks so much. I'll send them out. You should have gotten your last packs, by the way. Uh, see, I I don't know. It's funny when when I ask, so what a concert? I'm like, uh, I'm not. I, would you kill me if I said I'm not familiar with those bands? Mm -hmm. Uh, Chrissy sent me a message. I always got to make sure there's nothing going on, you know. Sorry, something with Ollie. Uh, oh, hold on. Chrissy's calling. Uh, hold on. Hey, we're live. Huh? Chris. Christy. Um, are, she called me. I'm like, what's up? Hold on a minute. I'm like, I can't hold on a minute. We're live. All right, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Thank you for your patience. Connor, what's up? Connor, welcome to the stream. I was playing Roblox with my friends. It sounds like a pretty good deal. Um, the heat has gotten to me this heat. It, it's, just, it's just absurdly hot. Like today, at one point, I wanted to... Um, uh, today, at one point, I kind of wanted to uh, play with the kids outside. I was taking care of them in the afternoon. I'm like, oh, guys, why don't we go play outside? And we go outside, and all of a sudden, it's like this, like, this, this meg. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a minute. Hey, what's up? Huh? I don't know. I'm sure that's not the case. Can can I? All right. So. So I sorry. So what's happening, guys? Is that apparently um, the big dude got out of his bed. So. Don't don't worry. He's found. He he was in the kitchen, uh, trying. But that's the first time he ever does that. Um. So, so that's what she was like. Um, oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Uh, so apparently she woke, uh, like the dude was crying, but then when she went to go get him, he wasn't in his bed. He was in the kitchen. That's the first time ever he ever does that. So that's why she was like, 
that she she got scared for a moment. But uh, you know, the dude is fine. The dude is fine. He just wanted more milk, apparently, some more milk. Oh, he's a big guy, you know, an escape artist. That's what it looks like. I we're like, he's never ever ever done that before. So like, how did he do that? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Now I want to see like, uh, let me see if the. Uh, I'm curious if the baby monitor kind of caught it at some point. Making a sandwich. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing, but that's just like funny. man. I mean, not funny. It's almost scary, right? But, uh, you know, somehow, somehow he got out. Yeah, and the, the, the baby monitor did not catch him going anywhere. So how, how did he do that? Nobody knows. It'll be a secret. It'll be a secret. So um, how's everybody doing? Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Um, let's get back to it. Just odd. Yeah, I, I, I guess we're going to need a, a new one if that one didn't say anything. Some cruise mission. I mean, maybe. maybe I mean, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I have, I have no idea how he did it. How's that, Vichy? Hey, Vichy. Hey, thanks for tuning in, Vichy. Hey. Uh, soon you could bring him on and feed him some Oreos. Mm, Oreos would be nice. I hate Oreos, man. I hate them. And I mean that in the nicest of ways. I love them. But that's why I can I can probably eat an entire bag of Oreos like in two days, and like that's not good for 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 my six pack. You know what I mean? My mega six pack. Doing good. Been getting a little rest here and there. Very good. Glad to hear that. Can't believe, yeah, th that's how I, like, today when we started the stream, I'm like, guys, guys, we're going to start the stream in July. We're going to end it in August. How does that make everybody feel? Um, That's rookie numbers. Two days. Try one. Hold on. What did I say? Two days? I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what I said. Ah oh, man, sometimes I have a. Uh, what did I say that I said two days, eating Oreos. Got it. Yes, I mean, I probably could, I probably could in one night, but it that's a problem. That's a I can't. I mean, I can't do that. I can't do that. My little tummy, my little little tummy. You know what I mean? Um, super severe storm of masterous proportions and crazy hail. That's crazy. Here it's hot, very hot. Me and pretzel sticks, yeah. Pretzel sticks are good too. Mm. You see, now I want Oreos. But you know what's funny? Uh, I'm going to say here's, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Ethan is still here. Here is my hot take of the day, everybody. Come on. Oh, it's not working. Uh, why isn't some of this stuff working? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Um, now I can't make the sounds. Here comes a hot take of the day, guys. Hot take. Guys, hot take of the day. Here we go. The golden Oreos or the vanilla Oreos are better than the chocolate ones. That's it. That's a hot take. That's a hot take. That is it. That is it. Oh, crickets? Crickets? No, I, I think this is a, a, a good take. This is a good take. It is a good take. Peanut butter Oreos. Ah, those are good too. Yeah, maybe. I mean, don't be me wrong. I like the chocolate Oreos, but... But those golden ones mm, with double stuff, very good. 
What are they called, Jeffrey? Are they not called golden? What are they called? Vanilla Oreos? No, they're called golden. Look at that. Golden. 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 I, I knew I was right. Why? White chocolate covered Oreos. Are the, those are awful because they're so good. Those are so good. Those are so good. I love those. I love those, but I hate them because I eat them all. Do you, do you understand the problem? I eat them all. And then my six pack is gone. And, you know, this six pack is a mega six pack of mega proportions. You know what I mean? I can't take it no more. What's up, Jeffrey L? How was your weekend, Jeffrey L? Did you have a good weekend? Hopefully you did. Hopefully you did. No, I'm not. Oh, my, my six pack? No, I, I, it, it would be inappropriate to do so live on Amazon Live. You know, we wouldn't want to disturb anybody from Amazon Live. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you? Do you? You know, it's very hard. It's very hard. With golden Oreos, that, that sounds like a pretty good weekend. White chocolate is ter horrible? No. Let me guess. Hold on, hold on. Jean Jean, what's next? You're going to tell me that dark chocolate is better than white chocolate? And I mean, I might as well just end the stream right here, right now. I think I might just end the stream if you tell me dark chocolate is better than white chocolate. Because white chocolate is the best chocolate there is. There is no better chocolate than white chocolate. White chocolate is the best one. See, Josh P -P 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 knows what's up. He knows. He knows. So does Mitch F. And apparently Terry Quick. And Vichy E. Oh, something tells me Jean Jean is outnumbered and outmanned. Dark is next. Oh, no. I'm melting like chocolate. Ah, it's so bitter. No, no. Clearly, Jean Jean doesn't know anything about chocolates, guys. It's true. It's true. It's true. We're going. We're, we're going to need to send them. We're going to need to send them on a special trip to Switzerland to go try all the chocolates. Um, all the chocolates, all of them. White chocolate in the trash. That's the best chocolate. I I can't control myself with white chocolate. If you give me a bar of white chocolate, I'm going to eat it. If you give me white chocolate covered Oreos, I'm going to eat them. Uh, it just it, it just happens. It's kind of like causation, and in this case, it does mean no correlation, and it does mean causation in this case. Not much I can do about it. It's just and that's the way it is. Know what I mean, do they have white chocolate ice cream? I think they do in some places, but not everywhere. You notice that there was no white chocolate in Willy Wonka. There was no white chocolate in Willy Wonka. I guess, uh, but was there a dark chocolate? I don't remember dark chocolate being there. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee doo. I've got another puzzle for you. <laughs> I don't know how I remember that. That was so good, man. That, uh, the, the, the chocolate, chocolate factory from with uh, Gene Wilde was just <laughs> the toilet. Uh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right. Um, so we got uh, great deals all around. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I would I would concur with that statement. I would kanka. I would kanka. Kanka. All right. A couple of good deals for streamers. Do I have any... But ten, any streamer or anybody that's thinking about streaming, um, a couple of nice deals with the Elgato Stream Deck. The Elgato Stream Deck um, is available today at 20% uh, off, $199.99. Did, uh, did you ever get the Tartarus, the Razor Tartarus, Jean Jean? Jean Jean?
Try Mitchell Cluizo box of assorted treats. What? Wh wh what is that? Ooh wee! What's up with that? I think white chocolate is only good with pretzels dipped in it. I uh, Ethan, that's a hot take. Did you hear my hot take? My hot take was hot. New earbuds from Amazon. Which ones, Connor? Which ones? I I found the Michel Cluizel um, bars of chocolate, but I don't see an assorted box of chocolates. Now, what about this Michel Cluizel that makes it very, very good, uh, uh, Jeffrey L.? What is it? Is it uh, like the chocolate melts in your mouth? When I do, I'll have, uh, I'll have you put in the live stream before I get it. That sounds good. All good. No, no rush. Huh? No rush. But it reminded me because the Elgato Stream Deck XL, which is the big one that we have, available 20% off today, $199.99 uh, for the streamers out there. If you want to, streamers or content creators also. Uh, just that's the largest stream deck they have and I have it right here this is the one that I use um Let me show you real quick. Sorry, Chrissy kept, keeps messaging me or whatever. Uh, so here it is. Here it is. One, two, three, and fine. So you guys are seeing the stream deck. This is what it looks like. I've got uh, some that are not working for me right now, including uh, some of those, all those funny sounds that I use are not working, which is a problem. But uh, the rest is working. And here you see how I control the stream, right? We got the pre, pre-show. Right? Uh, we've got main. We've got the browser, which we're looking at. Michel Cluizel. Um, the second camera that froze now. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Third camera. Technically, there's a fourth camera, but I don't have it connected right now. Dual camera. When I want to show something on YouTube. Uh, the phone cam that you guys are seeing right now, right there. Right, D&D, uh, &D. so this is all set up for D&D &D whenever we do it. VR, this is set up for VR for whenever we do that. The games, right, the, and then Warhammer, 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 so like all that. Right, so that CXL gives you a ton of opportunity to do a lot of stuff. You get also the software that you get to kind of put in, uh, you know, with voice mod, which is what it gives me these different, um, some of these... This is a problem I'm having. Voice mod, for some reason, is having trouble connecting at the moment. Uh, but those are all voice mod sounds. Uh, you can put your own sounds. Like, I, I downloaded the ship horn. Right? Um, the clapping or whatever. So, this gives you an idea of what the stuff that you can do with an Elgato stream deck if you are looking to be to stream or content produce. Available on Amazon. 13, 17, no, excuse me, 20% off, $199. I just, um, what was your hot take? I just got it done eating spaghetti. Well, hopefully it wasn't spaghetti and a taco. But uh, the hot take was that uh, white chocolate is better than dark chocolate. Everybody knows it. I'm not familiar with the, the bean wireless ear hooks. Um, after I win the lottery tonight, I'll get several of the XL stream decks. So I'll is there, is there a lottery today? I, we played the lotto and I, we didn't win, which was made me cry. Uh, now, the next item for streamers is this camera right here. This camera right here. We're talking about the Alpha. Alpha 6400. You guys know that this is the one I use for the, the one that's frozen right now. Thanks very much. Uh, but I love this camera. It's a great camera. It's available. That's not frozen. That's not frozen. Um, great camera captures in full 4K. Notice the other 4K. So uh, you can stream and or record in full 4K. A very small little camera that fits just about everywhere. It is not very heavy at all. 
748 the price today, 17% off. Jeffrey, those chocolates look amazing, says my chef. The Mega Millions drawing is tonight. Oh, oh. There was one that uh, there's like a billion dollar uh, price, right? All right, sorry about that. Uh, Alex, you said your hot take was at the gold. Oh, that was that the best? Uh, th that was my hot take, actually. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm having this whole thing with Ollie kind of like uh, took me uh, for a ride. So, um, yeah. So the golden Oreos are better than the chocolate Oreos. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. I like strawberry and mint ice cream. I like stra strawberry ice cream. is a very strong flavor. Mint, not so much. Jeffrey, I'll know why chocolate. Michel Cluizel brand owns their own cocoa bean farms in Venezuela, Sumatra, and Java. What? What? Couldn't find my favorite Pokemon as a plush on Amazon. Uh oh. There's no Tropius? Are you sure? I feel like I've seen it. I feel like I've seen it. Didn't you say Tropius? Hmm. I don't see it at the moment. It's funny though. I feel like I've seen it in the past. White chocolate's a four out of ten. Get out, Ethan. Door over there. Thank you. Hershey's hazelnut bar is so good. Yeah, it is. I do like that. I mean, I'm, I might try it out, uh, Jeffrey. Out if you if you are uh, soaring by it. Hmm. I cannot find Tropius. That's very weird. I feel like I've seen it. Milk chocolate is 10 out of 10. White chocolate is 1 out of 10. Connor, get out. Get out. Thanks. White chocolate is the best. Everybody knows it. I know it. We all know it. We all know it. Spaghetti tacos are great. Yeah, that's absolutely no. Johnny Kong. What's up, Johnny Kong? Welcome to the stream. I like Kit Kat uh, Mill. Oh, I mean, Kit Kat is, is, is great. Kit Kat is great. Well, we're not going to, you know, even attempt to say no to that. That's that's a great. That's an absolutely great uh, option. Uh, but, I mean, here's a tough one. Here's a tough one. Kit Kat or Twix? Kit Kat or Twix, uh, that's, I mean, I know which one it is for me, but I'm asking you guys. Tic Tac, I mean, uh, Kit Kat or Twix? The answer is easy. It's Twix. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. But um, I'm curious what you guys think. Kit Kat are better than Reese's, says Ethan. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, Twix, are, thank you, Jeffrey L. That's correct. Which E? Incorrect. Incorrect. Josh, P, 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 does, um, what's, how's that saying go? Um, did not understand the assignment. Kit Kat is the best candy, says Ethan. Ethan, that is incorrect. Incorrect. I mean, I know it's opinion, and everybody has different uh, taste buds or whatever, but it's still incorrect. Three Musketeers. Oh. 
Yorks, you know, literally, I think I have a bowl here. I'm not kidding. Or I had, I had. I don't have it anymore because I threw it away. I literally, I'm not kidding when I say this, guys. Uh, we got it for last Halloween. You know those big bags with a ton of different candy? The only ones that were left over that we did not eat and were eventually thrown away were the Three Musketeers and the Yorks. <laughs> Everything else was eaten except those. Except those were like, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't like that. I don't want those. They were like, nah, that's, nah, no, they're, they're not good. Uh, they were thrown away or they were given to like my nephews or somebody. I didn't eat them. I was like, I'm not eating that. It was a big cup with a layer of peanut butter cream. Um, mm -mm -mm, I don't remember that, but uh, it sounds good. It sounds good. Welcome, everybody. We've, uh, the stream was going in this direction. All of a sudden, we took a very sharp right turn. Even a little bit of handbrake usage. And we just got to completely sidetracked. We're going to go ahead and blame Jean Jo for that one. Um, somebody started talking about Oreos. I think that's where we started. Somebody started, and, and uh, you know, kind of got us completely out of whatever. Video cards. Great deal on video cards, guys, all around. Have you ever seen frozen Pop-Tarts? No, I have not. I don't think I have. Big cup with a banana cream layer. Mm, but see, banana cream, I'm not feeling it. I don't know if I feel the banana cream. I mean, I like I like banana, just like, you know, the next guy. But I don't know if I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Ooh, yeah. Meow, meow, meow. I said Kit Kats are best, but since more gas stations near me have Reese's Pieces, I can't count. I don't know. I mean, Kit Kats are just not the best. You know what I mean? They just aren't. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Right? And that's the way it is. All right, um, great deals on video cards all around Amazon, guys, including the 3060 Ti from Ace is Tough. $319.99, 47% off. I fear, I, want, I was thinking, actually, I might, I might at some point reconnect this video card back uh, until the uh, whatever issues that are going on with my 7900 XT get resolved. It's a great video card, the um, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, coming at $319.99, which puts it at a really nice price in between the 4060 and the 4060 Ti. So it's a, it's, it's a good price, 47% off, safe there. And the benchmark show there's not that big of a difference between the 3060 Ti and the 4060 Ti. So if you want to save a little bit of money while you're building, maybe you're doing a little bit more of a budget build or anything like that, or maybe you want to just upgrade, but your current one says at 1070, 1060, you know, or, or even before that, you got to want to, you know, something like that. You can uh, get something like the 3060 Ti at a really good price, $319.99. Uh, and that would be an immediate upgrade. Alternatively, you could go with what is arguably one of the best uh, video cards out there right meow. We're talking about the PowerColor AMD Radeon 7900 XT, which is one that I've installed here. Unfortunately, and this is just a, it's nothing against AMD or, or the card itself, because it's not a hardware issue, because I have no lines, you know, weird lines everywhere. I don't have that. It's just, it's a driver issue that's, that's creating some, um, um, what do we call it? It's a, it's a little driver issue that's creating some crash to desktops. So I'm trying to figure it out. So I don't want to talk bad about AMD. 7900 XC is an amazing, 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 amazing video card. 9% off, $749.99. I'm just having a little issue with mine, but, uh, you know, we're going to get it solved. Let me go back here to the chat. Um, and who did I miss? Hold on. Nathan Palm Acosta. Thanks, Nathan, for the question. Do you play PlayStation? No, I don't have a PS5. Um, in fact, to be, I have nothing against PlayStation. On the contrary, I think their, their exclusive games are incredible. 
but uh, I've never really been a PlayStation person. I always played Nintendo or Xbox. In fact, I don't think I've ever owned a PlayStation, a PS1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Uh, even though somebody was supposed to gift me the PS5 and then they never gifted it to me. I'm looking at you, Trigger W, who is probably no longer here. Uh, and I'm and also, also, I am kidding. Um, do you, Nathan, do you play, um, what do you have at home? A PlayStation, PS4, PS5? Um, great. I mean, obviously Final Fantasy 16 just came out. That's exciting. That's exciting. Um... I don't know what else is coming out that's exclusive. Is uh, Spider-Man 2 exclusive? No, right? No, I don't think that's exclusive. Is it exclusive? I. Oh. What's the name? What's the full name of the game? Here, this one. PS5 launch edition. October 20th, but is, is it, uh, I don't know if it's an exclusive. Marvel, Sp oh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is due to release exclusively for PS5 and will not come out on PS4, so it is. Johnny is saying, Sean and Alex, we know Chris Stone had a Stream Deck XL, his room stream on it. To me, it's too much setup. Um, I use the Excel. I, uh, I, to me, it's a little bit of... I think you, you can get it done with something smaller. Um, there's smaller options that you can probably do the same exact work. I got the Excel because I there was once it was on deal, like a really good deal. I can't remember the price, but it was, I think, maybe lower than $199, but this was... It's a long time ago. And but then second of all, a second of all. Oh, hold on. Second of all. There we go. I was like, hello. Second of all, one of the things that I got it, uh, one of the reasons I got it was because um, Chrissy doesn't do this anymore. Uh, Chrissy now streams mostly out of her phone. Because she prefers kind of like the quick setup of, of just a phone stream. But I used to, used to, when uh, she used to do a lot of streams here on Amazon before with a lot of try-ons. But try-ons that she would do beforehand for fashion. And I needed a way, especially for, you know, I don't want to say she's, she's, she's good with tech, but she's not like master of masters. So, like, I needed an easy way for it to go. If she had 20 outfits, for it to have, so I could set it up. Outfit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And just literally have outfit 1, outfit 2, outfit 3 to make it very simple for her to switch between, okay, I'm in outfit 3, outfit 4, or whatever. Notice how I, I think I hair video i still have one left over that i never changed look there's christy uh, right so i needed something that would be easy for her to sort of just switch the scenes and that's why i got i got the xl i actually ended up using now granted with the xl and i assume with the other ones too i can just press this button here and go to an entire other uh thing of more more colors baby thing what is a baby thing oh look at the big dude when he was young oh what a big dude right so um going back here i actually now use all of these i use them at different times um so i'm actually i use all of this now granted i don't think i could use six but there is a middle ground that i don't know how many i don't know if it's 15 I might be able to do that instead, but I, I, I like it. I don't think it's too much. It really depends on your setup and what you do. It does require setup in advance. I've set up every single one of these uh, frames. I've set it up in advance. So like I was showing this earlier, how we go from the pre-screen to home to the browser. So I can, you know, second camera, stuff like that. 
So, I, I mean, I don't think it's too much. I use it, but I, I also think you can get it done with much less. Let me go back, 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 back. Gasp, says Nathan. Nathan also had a PS5 fake out. I mean, I, di I didn't really. I was joking with a viewer who said, oh, I don't know if I'm going to play too much of the PS5. And I well, just give it to me. Uh, I never got it. Um, I have a PS4, a PS, but 3 was better. I, I never did a P uh, PlayStation, so I can't really comment. I'm, I've always been a PC player, always my whole life. And then Xbox, uh, a little bit. I got the Xbox 360 and 1, but I never got the S or X. Um, I did um, Nintendos. I think I did all of them except... I, th I had the Wii, but I barely played the Wii. Uh, all, all the other ones I think I played a lot. Uh, but PC since I've been like forever. For the most part, I agree, Johnny. I'm going to get something different. I don't have the extra funds I need for the stream deck line. Alex has recommended something else that's under 75. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good idea. Um, there's actually, I found a similar one uh, uh, from Red Dragon. Uh, I, uh, what is it called? Found it. So this is a, it's on deal today. That's why I saw it. I'm like, oh man, I got to tell Jean Jean. Because uh, this is is another option, eh? There's another option. Obviously, uh, it's kind of like half a keyboard there. But uh, that is really interesting. One-handed RGB mechanical gaming keyboard type C um, at $29.59 today. Now, will it work for what you're trying to do? Uh, maybe. I mean, I obviously, I haven't tested it. Uh, what happens if you connect this and a full keyboard on the side? Does any issues? I don't know. Uh, you said you liked uh, uh, clicky, and it does come with blue switch, so you could make it real clicky. Uh, but, you know, I, th I saw this today. I forgot to mention it earlier. 46% off, $29.59. Now, I don't have it, so I can't really uh, show it to you. Uh, Marvel, lol. I, I, you don't like the Marvel game? Let me know. I grew up with PlayStation. It's a family matter. I get it. I get it. It's, it's one of those things where, just like some people grew up with Mac, uh, and they're like, oh, Mac, Mac, Mac. I'm like, I wouldn't get a Mac, personally, but that's just me. Um, I keep going down. Time to get some dinner. All right, Nathan. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you again. Johnny Khan, we miss Chris. I remember way back, she did fashion room to room. My request stream is uh, with her on this this Christmas season, she will be back. She will be back. She just, uh, you know, we, we had a lot of going on here in the last, uh, couple of weeks, personally, professionally, uh, just, just a lot of going on. Uh, but she is planning a stream for this week. I don't know when, but I know she's planning a stream for this week. I love the Wii. My family will play the Wii. And I, have to, I mean, memories are great. I, I mean, I tried a little bit of the Wii. I, it just didn't stick a whole lot. Um, I didn't like the graphics. I, I was just not fully feeling it. Uh, I really like, um, obviously, the, the, the Switch is amazing, which, by the way, it's in the carousel today. What's up, Juan Ortega? Welcome to the stream, Juan. Uh, the, the Switch is in the carousel today. Fantastic console, guys. For anybody looking... Uh, you know, start of the year for school, you want to get, you know, give maybe like a, a little pre, pre class, uh, little gift or something, or maybe they did great in summer camp or they did great in something during the summer. Um, the switch is an excellent option to get a three forty nine ninety nine for the OLED two ninety nine for the regular one. Uh, it's available here on Amazon. The entire family of products for Nintendo, including the Lite, the regular, and the OLED, are available on Amazon uh, at, uh, at their usual MSRP. Um, and I added today a ton of different things to help you protect and, uh, and game better on the Nintendo Switch, including the Amper Temper Blast uh, screen protector. This is uh, an extra... Oh, I forgot. This one isn't working now. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh wee. All right. Let's go 
go back here. Oh, I, I realized I lost, uh, I, I thought the chat had ended like three minutes ago and I'm like, oh, nobody's chatting. Okay, and then I realized the chat was just closed. And Atari 2600, uh, I did play the Atari. That was great. Um, I don't, Turbo Graphics, no. PS2, PS3, PS4, no PS for me. I meant to say Marvel games are amazing. Uh, all right, have a good one. Have a good one, Nathan. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, for those of you that haven't seen, there's a new trailer out for the Spider-Man 2 uh, Marvel game coming out on October the 20th. Uh, if you guys want to see it, I'll show it. Fantastic. Lo lo looking real good. I don't have a PlayStation, so I'm not going to be able to play it. But uh, uh, Dave, what's up, Dave? Welcome to the stream, Dave. Thanks for being here, Dave. Uh, let us know what brings you in. If you got any questions, maybe you, you, you know looking for something, let us know. Uh, I like turning the resolution down to 320 by 340. <laughs> the real engine for the pixels and polygons. Yummy, yummy. That sounds like music to my ears. Um, trying to buy a green version of everything from a Nintendo console. A green N64 and GameCube. What? I mean, N64, GameCube, great consoles there. Venom seems cool in the game. Yes, yes, he does. I like the Razer Tartars. I'm going to get that. That's fine. I was just I, I was just offering an alternative uh, because particularly that price. Great price there. Great price. Now, Sandus. Let's talk Sandus for a moment. If you're looking for whether you're looking for a micro SD or a regular SD card. Uh, bolt, oh, man. I, again, I forgot. Let me restart this real quick. I got to restart it. I'm going to restart it. Restart it. There we go. So we're back. Oh. Thank you for uh, showing me Frankie the Frank. Thank you for showing me. <laughs> I'm not going to. I could have kept going, but I'm going to choose not to. Uh, so but let's go back to the sand. It's 128 micro SD card on your Nintendo Switch. You see it right there. You see it right there. Now, why? Because here's the thing. When you're downloading games off the internet, if you buy the uh, the digital edition here on Amazon and you get a code, uh, then you have to go and download it. When you download it, you're downloading the entirety of the game onto your hard drive. After maybe four or five games, chances are your hard drive will be full. And that's where the SD card comes in. $15.29 right now, the price. It's a really good price, 56% off uh, for your Nintendo Switch. Uh, yeah, I, I, I knew that was coming. That's why I said, I, I said, I'm going to plead the fifth. I want to plead the fifth. If you're looking to game on your Nintendo Switch, you need a pro controller. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons are great. If you're playing Mario Kart, uh, Super Smash, you're playing Mario Party, any of those games, go with the Joy-Cons, play with friends. It's a great idea. But if you're not, if you're going to be playing at a home, by yourself, like Zelda or Metroid, you got to get a pro controller. This is your official one from Nintendo. Available at 69 bucks here today on Amazon. There are th uh, third-party alternatives. Particularly, there's um, I have experience with a brand called Power A. They make great stuff as well. So no matter what you get, you got to get a pro controller. It's a really nice addition to your Nintendo Switch setup at 69 bucks today the latest came out on the nintendo switch actually not the latest anymore because pikmin 4 came out uh, but a great one it's the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom which i i think we're gonna go play in a little bit i feel like playing a little bit of zelda to close out the night uh, so we'll do that in a little bit sam color saying it's a little painful to see what your new mini keyboard option has the lettering that don't glow was that a mistake they sent you the one to Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, okay. You're saying that the key sims, the keycaps themselves are not backlit because they're not, you don't actually see the S light up. You see the background light up. Is that what, is that what you're saying? The lettering that don't glow. So like, for example, I believe, let me grab, uh, I'm going to grab the glorious real quick. Let's grab the glorious. Does the glorious do it? Let's see. We're going to take this out. Uh, 
Does the glorious do it? Dun 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 dun. 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 No, the glorious does not do it either. The glorious is just the regular keycaps. So I know which one you're talking about. I know. I know. I know. I mean, there's a couple that do that, but... The latest one that we showed off that is no longer on deal, unfortunately, is this one. This one does have keycaps that actually light up that are backlit. So the actual W lights up as opposed to the area around the W, for example. So that's what Sam Kohler is talking about, the difference between these two keyboards, right? If I connect this one again. Come on. Notice how it's around the keycap that gets lit up, not the actual keycap. Did the other Yunzi do it? Where's the other Yunzi? Let me see. I don't believe this other Yunzi does it either because I, I'm looking at the keys, the YC75. Um, now, what about the tilt? The tilt animation, I think, did. Let me see the one that's, yeah, yeah, the one that's in the carousel right now at a mega, mega, mega price. Let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Where is it? Where are, where are you? There it is. Tilt animation, wide mechanical keyboard, 1999. $19.99. Great price, but also does what Sam Kohler is talking about where the keys themselves are going to light up. There it is. So this is a Tilted Nation white mechanical gaming keyboard, 10 keyless with brown switches. And here again, the actual letters do uh, light up. Right. So that's what Sam Kohler was talking about. Uh, this is a great keyboard, $19.99, and you can take 15% off additionally as part of our stream. So that's, uh, that's not half bad, is it? That's not half bad. I'll take it. 15% off on top of already discounted by 33%. So wh where does that leave us? I mean, where does that leave us? Let's see. If I hit claim deals, right? I hit the claim deals. I'm going to go ahead and click through. I'm going to go ahead and add it to our care. So which, by the way, it also comes in pink. Let me show you. It comes in pink too. I don't have the pink, but it does come in pink. So if you don't like it in white, but you like it in pink, get it in pink. Uh, but there's a white one. We're going to add it to the carousel. And I'm going to tell you the final price of it all comes down to, remember, this is originally $29.99, $16.99. Oh, my Damon. That's a good deal. $16.99. $3 discount applied on top of everything I mean, $16.99 for a mechanical keyboard? That just doesn't exist. Go try and find that on Amazon somewhere. I don't think you're going to find a good mechanical keyboard. I mean, let's see. I'm going to type it. Mechanical keyboard. A 10 keyless mechanical keyboard for 10 to 15 bucks. There's keyboards. There's mechanical feeling but not not quite a mechanical keyboard i mean that's just what a deal what a deal so for anybody looking for a keyboard tilted nation and their mechan wide mechanical keyboard 1999 15 percent off bring you down to 16.99 when i grow up said pablo you have other keyboard options i might have i, I might have one or two one or two extra ones. Do you all see Ed? Yeah, Ed was here a little bit ago. Ed was here a little bit ago. The Ed stops most nights, but er, er, a little bit earlier in the stream, I think. All right, guys. So we're going back to the top of the carousel. 
uh, with the KYY portable monitor. Still three more hours to go on that lightning deal. Remember, it's not $99.99. There's a $10 coupon on the other side. So $89.99 for the 15.6 inch uh, full HD, full HD uh, uh, monitor there. Uh, let me do this. I'm going to get just something to drink real quick right here, and we'll continue with uh, with the stream. I'm inclined in a little bit to go. Um, does he rate your products, Sue? He doesn't rate them. Uh, he normally asks uh, romantic questions. <laughs> and his son uh, stops by every now. All right, tonight a new one. Tonight a new one with uh, vitamin water forever. You coconut lime. See, it's not pineapple, but it is coconut lime. Yummy, 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 yummy. What's up, Whitney? Just went to get a drink real quick. How are you, Whitney? We are on here. We are here. Welcome to the stream, Whitney. If you have any questions about any of the items in the carousel, let me know. Uh, we can demo. We can talk about it, and let us, let us know what brings you in. What are you are you shopping for anything in particular, Whitney? Are you shopping for anything in particular? Are you shopping or maybe you're shopping for something in particular? Welcome to the stream, Whitney. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. All right. Now we're bringing it back, 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 back. Back to the top of the carousel with the uh, JBL Clip 4. I like the Lime Aid drink from Jack in the Box. Jack Splash, he took it off the menu. I don't think I got to try it. I don't think I got to try it. This vitamin water was available on Amazon here once upon a time. Let's see if it still is. There it is. There it is. Who wants to get a um, a full box of Zero Sugar Forever You? Or you can get a selection. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Jones Soda. I don't know if I had that. Sonic has good cherry limeade. I don't know if I've tried it either. Did I get any nuts? No, no, I got no nuts. No nuts today. I can't do the zero sugar. The artificial sugar are yuck to me. Um, I mean, you know what the problem I have is that if I don't do the, the, the zero sugars, some of the ones have like, you know, 90% sugar and it uh, or like sugar the daily whatever sugar I'm like that's, that's just too much I, I, can't, I, I can't do that so then I can't have my ice cream I like having a little ice cream you know what I mean a little ice cream just a little ice cream just um, nom, 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 mm, ice cream you know mm, 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 mm. all right Back to the JBL Clip 4. So this one, $59.95, 25% off today. It's a really nice deal uh, for a portable speaker that clips on to wherever you, you want to go. I'm down 53 pounds in the past 90 days. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, that's, that's great. That's a lot. Um, that is good progress. I don't uh I don't quite have a success story at the moment. <laughs> um In fact, I had pizza tonight. Pizza. But that's that's very good. 
Uh, I think I don't want to speak for Jean Jean, but I think the uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Jean Jean. Your the your secret is Impossible Meat. Am I right? Impossible Burgers. Yep. 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 All right, so back to the JBL clip four while we wait for the big secret. So again, this is going to clip to your belt buckle, to your child's, um, you know, uh, oh, man, stroller, uh, to your backpack if you're hiking, to your beach bag if you're going to the beach. You can clip on anywhere, waterproof, dustproof, uh, and allows you to play music where on the go wherever you go. So what do you want to play a lullaby? Get going with some, you know, uns, 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 or whatever you want to rock out to. Uh, JBL Clip 4 is a great option at $59.95. $59.95. Did I lose, um, who was it? Whitney, Whitney, are you there, Whitney? Whitney? No, but I am eating more veggies than sass. 50 years of eating... Like not a grade has taken its toll. No, I mean it's 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 obviously very important. Uh, I need to do a, bit, you know, I went through a moment in my uh, mid late twenties where I ate a lot of salad. But I do mean like my every lunch I had was a salad. I, I, what would I eat most of the time? A salad, a salad, and I was uh, actually in probably very good shape at that moment. But now I feel like, oh, my God, salads just, I can't, I have a hard time doing salads. Uh, I like a good capress, but capress is not really a salad. You know what I mean? Because it's cheese and tomato. So, like, it's not really a good salad. I bet I really like that. Um, but I need to do a better job of just having, like, a normal green salad, which I haven't, you know, I don't know. Aladdin? Do I look like Aladdin? I will show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Salads are the best type of food. They are good. They are good. They are good. But, I mean, here's another hot take, guys. Guys, guys, get ready. It's time for another. Boom, 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 boom. Time for another hot take. Another hot take. Um, pasta does not belong in salads. There it is. Mic drop with a hot take. Pasta does not belong in salads. That's it. Where's, um, look, instead of a mic drop, I'm going to grab a, a keycap uh, switcher. That's it. That's it. Hot takes have become a, a, a thing. They have become a thing. They have. Um, I, um, I'm wrong, says Vichy E. Uh, I'm not really a, a fried food person, but I'm into sweet carbs. Me too. Uh, I, I, I like carbs way too much, I feel. I didn't have self-control when I have sweets around me either. I can't eat. That's why I don't buy it. Uh, if you know, I, There was a moment that I would buy Oreos, and I would just devour them. And I'm like, yeah, that's, I probably shouldn't do that. Because I, I think isn't each Oreo like 100, 100 calories or something? Or, or like two Oreos, it was like, uh, I was like, yeah, no, okay, I, I can't do that. Um, Ethan agrees, thank you, Ethan. Pasta, tuna, and chicken, sa uh, no, no pasta, pasta not allowed. Pasta doesn't belong in salads, but it does belong in my mouth. It does, it does. I, I, li I like that kind of pasta. Um, M&M's, I like me some M&M's, yes. But uh, pasta and salads, big no-no. Big no-no. No pasta and salads, please, guys. No pasta and salads. Jean, Jean, Jean is like Oprah. I love bread.
Cranberry salad, maybe. Not sure, maybe. Um, maybe. By the way, we're totally off base when it comes to uh, tech and games, and we're talking about salads. Uh, I have a question. Um, are you still with us? Uh, who was it? Who was it? Whitney. Whitney. Are you there, Whitney? Whitney, do you think pasta b belongs in salads or no? Tomato basil salad where I can dip the bread in the olive. Mm, that sounds pretty good. I like that. I like a white toasted bread with butter, mayo, and ham, turkey, American cheese, American cheddar cheese with bacon. It's a big sandwich. That's a big sandwich. You know, I've gotten used to for a long time eating only like I rarely, and I do mean rarely, eat white bread. I mostly eat whole wheat or multigrain bread. Um, I I don't know if that does anything, but I I heard it does something. I, I'm not a. I mean, I did take nutrition 101, but uh, that's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I know. All right. Uh, Sierra Q, uh, Q D and D polyhedral dice continue to be on deal once again. A four eighty nine for a set. Now let me go ahead and grab this so I can show. I will show you the world. Go down to the top down. And here you have a selection of all the dice available. Uh, my parents only bought wheat bread. Yeah, wheat bread is good. So here's a selection. Now I have a slightly different color, but it's pretty much uh, the same. So take a look. You got a D6. I got a 5 out of 6. Very good. A D10. Come on. Oh, a 2. Not very good. A D12. Hmm, a 4. Not going great today. Uh, a D100. Come on. Oh, a 0. Uh, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think that's a bad thing, actually. Um, a D4. Whoops, hold on. No, sorry, a D8. Hmm, a 4, not great. Now a D4. I got a 4, so that's good. And now a D20. Come on, 20. Come on, 20. Here we go. Oof. Come on, 20. Okay, a little bit better there. But anyway, that's a CRQ polyhedral dice. All the dice you need for D&D. &D, I really bought 489 for on one nice little set. Look sharp about our Oriental, actually. Baguettes and croissant all the time. Oh, yes. That's, I mean, baguette, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. It's good for you, but I'm tired of it, says Ethan. Uh, did I want? I did not roll a one. No, not once. No ones were rolled in this uh, in the making of this uh, live stream. All right. One of the things I didn't mention earlier: Corsair. If you're looking for RAM for your computer, if you want to upgrade your RAM, uh, Corsair is having great deals all around. I got to hear the Vengeance RGB Pro from Corsair. $79.99, 42% off today. It's a really nice deal. DDR4, 3600 on the speed, 26 of 16 for a total of 32 gigs of RAM, which is probably more than you need, uh, the, obviously, depending on all the things you're going to do. But for most people, if you're gaming, even if you're doing content production, 32 gigs is where you want to be. Uh, especially if you're going to be doing some heavy premiere work, you need at least 32. 64 might be even better. I gotta go. I gotta tell you guys something funny today. Tell us. Tell us. There's a grocery store chain that would make some Asiago cheese spread. Mm, yeah, that is good. That is good. But it's also not good. I mean, it's good, but it's also not good. You know what I mean? Do you know, do you feel me? Do you feel me, bra? One of those things. It is one of those things. Sounds good, but is it? Is it? Is it? All right. Um, I don't think I've missed a single thing in today's stream so far. 
Uh, I think we've spoken about every single item in the carousel today. That's a lot of stuff, guys. Remember, there's select items in the carousel, an additional 10 to 15% off. So if you're looking for many things, check them out. If you see green text, 10 to 10, 10 to 15% off. Uh, you do have to hit that claims deal button that's somewhere down here. I was having lunch at Chick-fil-A, and some uh, woman in front of me said she wanted a zero sugar water. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little problematic. A little problematic. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so here's a question. How should we end tonight's stream? Should we, A, do a little bit of Zelda? Should we assemble the last five German dudes I need for um, Bolt Action, maybe with some uh, chill music? Or should I try to uh, open up a game that will probably not open? Let's see, I'm going to try, after all the changes that we made, does Flight Simulator work? Nope. Error. So, still having uh, issues. Um, when does D&D return? So, the actual D&D sessions are Fridays. Uh, and, uh, I mean, we're trying every week, every week to do it. Every single week we're trying to play it, but, um, some of the old regulars are on vacation or, you know, new work stuff has come up. So they've been unable to join us. Uh, so we essentially, we need players. We have uh, Jean Jean has volunteered, Pudgy has volunteered, and they're mostly on every Friday, but they wanted to play with more people. So uh, Derek is uh, traveling with his son uh, on, a, on a baseball travel team, so he's uh, unavailable until that season ends. Uh, Dana, Dana used to game with us a lot. She, I think, has been very busy with work or whatever she has going on. Um, Graham, Graham, is, I think is moved on to to other other uh, playing fields. Um, so we need um, we just need new players. I mentioned somebody reached out to me earlier today that they were interested in potentially doing it. Um. But that's just one person. So we just need more players. That's what we need. We miss Derek on d and I mean, once Derek uh, is, is hopefully, I mean, I don't know. If, let's put it like this. If Derek is eventually done mm -hmm. with, with that uh, playing session, uh, or I mean, uh, baseball travel season, then, uh, you know, we're going to have three people that are always on uh, or very often on. Uh, and then we can plug one or two in as, as, as it allows. So hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Um, so what do we have? I have one vote for Assemble, Jean Jean. We have Ethan saying uh, to play Zelda. Connor saying Zelda. Juan saying Pokemon box opening. I do have uh, how many packs left? Five. But I don't, is anybody going to get them? Let me know. Five packs. Um... Zelda says Michef and uh, Vich E says saying Zelda also. Ooh. Zelda pack. So it looks like it might be a Zelda night. Uh, the funny thing is, after what we went through, I have no idea where to go. I mean, I have a rough idea, but there's so many places to go, you know what I mean? 
Oh, I got it like a fly get, or a mosquito. Get away from me. Get away. Psh, 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 psh. Let's see. There it is. I got skeeters. In my house, too. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's go there and there. So, for those of you that are just joining us, we actually defeated the first dungeon. Um, uh -huh. Okay. So, technically, now that that is done... Uh, see, we got a regional phenomena. Alright, so technically we gotta go. I don't know which one, which one is a recommended second dungeon. If it's which one of the four. Um, we gotta the the geoglyphs. We gotta find nine more. Um, so there's obviously a lot going on at the moment. I do remember, let's go to the map for a second. Right most what? Is it recommended to go next? I want to say that our horse is somewhere here. Korok. I feel like there's our horse is somewhere here. Maybe we gotta find him. Do that? Like, are you saying right most? Is that what you're saying? To do the right most? So we gotta go investigate one of these two, I guess. Because this one is a desert. Last time the desert was the hardest one. I don't know if it still is. Um. So we gotta go in that direction. I did not stable my horse. He he must be somewhere. Because I, I got off and jumped off. Ah. We'll meet again. Have a good one, Connor. Oh. So there's uh, some sort of geoglyph, geoglyph somewhere up here. I probably could could get up here and travel to see what we see. Because I mean, we haven't really explored anything in the Hebra Mountains. Um. So that might be a nice way. You know what? We're going to do that. I'm going to go up here. Uh, and then we can see from up top and see where the next geoglyph is. And maybe we see some uh, like a shrine or something that we can try as well. Um, what's up, Ariana? Yes. All your stable horses from the are Are they really? I didn't know. Ariana, we're playing... Um, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. There we go. So what do we see, guys? What do we see? Anybody see a geoglyph? So I'm looking for a geoglyph, geoglyph. 
geoglyph? I don't quite see a geoglyph. see a geoglyph. Let's see if we can find a horse and then we'll go places. Sean 66 really? wants you to not use your glider for a minute. Well, at least let, I'm not gonna die, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tulin's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Okay. So I cannot use my glider, thanks, uh, Jean Jean. Oh, we got some baddies over here. Shield. I will take the food though. Seared steak, yes, please. I have no idea. We left the horse somewhere in between here. Somewhere there. I don't know if it despawned or if it's in the stable. I don't know how we're gonna find that out. Oh! No way! No way! Are you kidding? What's up, horsey? You are here. Did you miss me? I missed you. Like the deserts miss the rain and I missed you. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure where we're going. Oh, but here's um stable. I'm gonna do some cooking, but I don't really have a lot of food. Let me pause for a moment like this. Um, let's see what's going on in the chat. What's up, Alize? Welcome to the stream, Alize. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, pl please let us know what brings you in if you got any questions. I'm gonna say I don't get the point of the game. Oh, that's all right. Um, so Ariana, you never have you ever played a Zelda game in your life? Ever, ever, ever? All right. So that's okay. So Zelda is not not this person. Uh, Zelda is a princess that has been kidnapped or is missing. Um, and this guy is Link. And you're going there every Zelda game is to find Zelda pretty much and uh, defeat the bad guy. But what makes these games incredible is that, uh, you know, take a look at the size of this map, right? It's huge. And it's completely open. This world is big. It's open. And it has a ton of things for you to discover. So what is the point of the game? Yeah, you got to find Zelda. But you got a lot of quests. You got to explore. Like, I'm literally just walking around to see what we see. Uh, and it's a game that it's not good for those like us with OCD. Because you're always going to find things to do. Uh, in Zelda, uh, so the, the chances of you like getting bored or not knowing what to do are slim to none. There's always something that you're gonna find. And it's an RPG, so you gotta, you know, uh, develop Link with whatever weapons you want, whatever armor. You gotta go f cook food, um, and you gotta solve uh, puzzles. Le Zelda is huge in puzzles. So what I would love to do is try to find a a shrine. <laughs> See if I can find a shrine for you to show you the kind of puzzles. We just, we literally just finished one. 
uh, which is a, a not really a shrine, but a big dungeon that is full of puzzles. Uh, uh, you know, it's kind of like the, the hard area. Obviously, here there's got to be all these things. There's got to be something around here. But um, Zelda is all about puzzles, isn't it? Too? Metro is also a lot about puzzles and figuring things out. Um, so it's a, it's a big open world for you to discover, uh, get yourself lost in, and just explore. Now, one of the things... See, I don't even know. Where am I? Oh, I'm going all the way around. Um, so one of the things about Zelda also is, uh, believe it or not, this is a sequel to a game called Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild has been chosen by many to be one of the best games of all time. All time, like in the history of game. Um, and this game is not far behind. There's so much. There's just so much to do in this game. That is, it's really. I don't see a shrine. Normally, shrines are not that ah. hard to find. But I can't find them at the moment. So if I can find a shrine. Sometimes the best way to do a shrine is to be up in the air. See, th this is a shrine that we already did. This is a shrine. Let me go back to the chat because the chat closed on me, guys. Um, is Zelda human? No, he's kind of like an elf. Basically. Is Ethan the Zelda Pro Weed? Okay, no, no. Those are two different people. One is Ethan, the other one is Josh. It's a fox. Are you the fox living under my house? What are these fires? So see, that is a shrine, but literally we're looking at two shrines that we've already done. We, we did those, right? The ones with the green are the ones that we've done. Oh, no, I'm not talking to him. Oh, so some big baddies over there. Something new. Oh, I thought we would fly up. And yeah, not a whole lot, huh? Here. So that's a quest. <laughs> climb a whole lot. I 
got to talk to that guy to get the quest for whatever this is. Let's see what this is about. This is uh, one of those tests. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, man, normally it's very easy to find things to do uh, on here, but I'm having a hard time finding something to do. guys are doing that's a lot of baddies and some more baddies and more baddies oh wow what is this place clearly there's something going on all around the, the map I can't really find a hieroglyph or anything I think those are the, the ones that we've already done right The, the, the green thing is to show that we've already done it or that we have to do it still. <laughs> and this is where I found the horse. So we have gone all the way around. done two of these I remember seeing another one hold on a minute my chat here froze Go to the right. I'm not gonna go fight the uh, go back up for a second. I don't know where the geoglyph is at. But I couldn't find anything there either. See, hold on. Oh. So we've done those up there. We did that wind temple entrance. So maybe we can explore this area. There's also nothing there. Huh? That doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Oh, that's that's only a dragon. Okay. 
that's just a dragon. a whole lot of going on huh? so maybe it is time to move on oh wow I did not realize maybe it's time just to move on to the next spot I mean, it's always things to do I just I'm not I'm having a hard time finding them so we can start heading to one of the other dungeons Oh, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I thought that would work. How do we get through, guys? The bomb didn't work. What's up, Regina? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, Regina. I don't get any of this. So, have you have you ever played a Zelda game before? Never? Have you played any RPG, open world, anything where you can explore freely? Fuse rocks to soar. Okay, I do have something with a rock. Thank you, uh, Ethan. Uh oh. Ma! Who are you? There's a lot of when the glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. So the blood moon is out.
see where we're going. Amber Flint. Alright. I'll go back here. Topaz and a ruby and amber. Oh snap. We just kind of keep going down and down and down. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, look at that. Anybody see anything exciting? I don't see anything exciting. Except for this, whatever that is. A big baddie. A big baddie. Quiet, huh? almost too quiet. Almost too quiet. They work in the depths. supposed to do something with her but I didn't do it secret hot spring Whoa. Oh, this is a sign. I don't really know how the sign fully works. Thank you, Hot Spring. Haven't found. I mean, we've been going around. We haven't really found. Oh, okay. Second, guys. Can't carry any, any more weapons. And drop that and get the arm. Doesn't seem like a very successful night in uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. We found uh, a couple of cool things here and there, but uh, nothing that really like OMG, OMG. You know what I mean? Huh? 
Why did I know that was happening? I'm thinking we're probably gonna call it here in a second uh, unless we find something fun, which I don't see at the moment. Well, I don't know what happened to them, but something clearly happened. Rogue or may meet. Tooling shot him. these guys I forgot about these guys they hurt a lot they hurt a lot yeah all right I'm just gonna leave it there for tonight guys not a very exciting night of Zelda couldn't really find a whole lot to do so we might just move on to the next uh, to the next area when uh, when we get go back to it I think that's gonna be the plan uh, so we've gone through every item in the carousel tonight. Uh, we've spoken about it. We've highlighted, we demoed it, uh, and we've answered questions. If you're watching us right now and you got any questions about any of the items in the carousel, let me know, uh, ask away before we, uh, before we go, before we go, go. Those some great items tonight. Good deals all around. I think I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. What's up, Eric? What are the dice made of? What are they made? I mean, I don't know, plastic? They're... What are the dice normally made of? Acrylic material. Look at that. Acrylic material. Waterproof. Oxidation proof. They're not stone. No, no. They're, they're like acrylic. Thank you for the question, Eric. Um, Jean Jean on the way out. Yeah, so are we. Thank you so much, Jean Jean, for being here with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. And I definitely hope to see you again soon. Tomorrow we'll do uh, maybe some assembly instead of uh, game time. Um, thank you for being here, Jean Jean. Jean Jean. Um, I think that's going to be it for us tonight. Uh, if anybody has any question, this would be the perfect time to ask. 
Uh, and I'm trying, I think we're going to call it a night. And, and like I said, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Hey, what's up? Hey, Wilson. Welcome to the stream, hey, Wilson. Are you excited, hey, Wilson, for Commander Masters? How excited are you? Like super or like mega? Or like not at all? Ooh, Jean Jean. What's up, Kevin? Kevin and Gooey, and thanks for being here, Kevin. Commander Master is too expensive. I'm however excited for. Yeah, the Walls of El Drain looks pretty good. I'm really excited about that as well. Uh, but that's September, so. So we got, uh, but we've got uh, Commander Masters this week, coming out Saturday. Uh, you can learn to play Magic the Gathering with the starter kit at uh, ten ninety nine. I've not seen early previews actually of El Drain. None, none. I've seen Commander Masters, which they, you know, they look good. Um, have a great one, Ethan. Thanks so much for being here. What's up, Sam? Oh, welcome to the stream, Sam. And this time, not Sam Kohler, but just Sam. What's up, Sam? Let me know if you have any questions. Same one for you, Kevin. Uh, and Eric, any other questions? Do let me know, guys. Uh, we'll probably be on for another couple of minutes. Uh, so let me know. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, have there been previews for the Wilds of Eldraine? Really? Oh, a first look three days ago. I did not see it. I did not see it. Let's go take a look. Wilds of Eldraine. Ashok is coming back. Oh, my goodness. I do like him. Um, during our original visit to Eldraine, says the, the book, we focus on the royal courts and the role on the plane. This nightly image of Eldraine was a fan favorite. We're returning to the, the plane in Wilds of Eldraine, but it's a tad different. Eldraine is still a line of beauty and splendor filled with enchanting prairies and valiant, valiant heroes. Have I played Farming Sim 22? I have not. You know, I've been interested in playing it, but I haven't played it. Have you, Sam? Now we're venturing beyond the castle walls and into the wilds. These mysterious woods are full of strange creatures, wild beasts, and arcane magic. Play of hand. Uh, we've seen that card, I feel, before, no? Restless Fortress. The characters tally on the kindly lord. Uh, let's see, flying. As Talion enters the battlefield, choose a number, of, a number between 1 and 10. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value, power, or toughness equal to a chosen number, the player loses 2 life and draws a card. Hmm. Hmm. Ashok, the wicked manipulator. See, I, I, Ashok, I like, even though he's mean, mean, mean. If you pay life, from, well, a library has at least that many cards in it. Excel that many cards from the library instead. Oh, okay. I like that. Um, Will and Rowan make a return in the set. Okay. Tough cookie. I like the tough cookie. It's looking good. I mean, Eldrain was a great set. The only thing that came out of Eldrain that people didn't like was uh, Oko. Oko was too powerful way back when, right? Pretty funny. You should try it. I, I, I might. I might. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Uh, but I wonder if there's going to be like a, a, a 2023. Oh, uh, there, there is there a new smothering tide? What? In every booster of Wilds of Eldraine, you'll find one of the enchanting tail cards, uh, a non-standard legal bonus sheet like Brothers War retro artifacts or Strixhaven School of Magic. An example? How about smothering tide? Yeah, I would like to find a smothering Ristic study. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty-four. Doubling season. I think it looks good. It looks good. It's already available on Amazon, it looks like. Yep, yep. Take take a look. Wilds of Eldrain, what I've been talking about. Uh, smalling. Getting repeated with anime art. Yeah, yeah, I just saw them. They look really good. They look really good. 
Um, here is doubling season. I mean, Rissic study looks really good. It really does. And smaller and tight looks amazing. Yeah, I, I would like to get these. Yep, 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 yep. Um, now let's take a look. Farming Sim 24. Yep, Farming Sim 24. Maybe an no October, November 23 release. Ah, maybe we get it. I like sim sim games. I really do. I really do. That's why I like I love Flight Simulator. You know, it's like different, but a sim regardless. Uh, I'm, I mean, I like Commander Masters. What's coming out? It's just I agree. It's just too expensive, especially I think in a vacuum. You know, if you want to have once a year or something like big like that, I get it. Uh, I get I get that. But, um, you know, coming right after uh, Lord of the Rings, which was expensive. I don't know, man. You know, it's just too, too much. I, I'll wait for... I mean, I'll probably open a couple packs just to see what's what for Commander Masters. But Wiles of Eldrain is what I'm looking forward to. How's it going, guys? Welcome to another video. Somebody saying, uh, get the official. Yeah, I'll need to play some farming simulator. Um, yeah, the VR flights, I, and we're going to go back to them. The problem that I have a, a little, we tried to do it the other day. We're just having some, I'm having some issues with my video card. Um, What's up, Michael? Welcome to the stream, Michael. Thanks for tuning in. How you doing, Michael? If you have any questions, Michael, about any of the items in the carousel, let me know. Again, welcome. Uh, and my name, guys, is Alex, and we talk all things fashion. Uh, fa <laughs> I read the word fashion, and then I just said it. We talk all things tech and games, and uh, we're about to call it a night. We're uh, here in four minutes. So if anybody has any question about any of the items in the care, so whether it's tech related, deal related, or game related, video game, tabletop game, card game, do let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Fashion stream, let's go. Yeah, probably not. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. You know what I mean? And tomorrow we're going to try to do a little bit of bolt action, finish up the last few, so then I can spray it all. And uh, begin some of the painting process just to try and get it. I haven't played match. It's a good card game. It's a great game. Um, uh, it's a relatively easy to learn, hard to master kind of game. It's uh, not too expensive to get into it. There's some sets that are going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, it is played in pretty much every single, uh, pretty much every single game shop, hobby shop around. Johnny, thank you so much, Johnny. I'll be I'll be on tomorrow um, and every night, every night from nine to twelve. So I hope to see you again, Johnny. Thank you. I know you're getting off soon. Oh, it's Kate Tay from London. Welcome to the stream. Um, have you played any card game, Michael? What do I do with Star Kid? Uh, now, for example, I got the starter kit here. It's also in the carousel today. Um, just to show you a little bit. So uh, the way, let me put this like so. The way Magic the Gathering plays is very simple. I'm going to go ahead and open this. 
Uh, you get seven cards at the beginning of your of your. There's many formats to play. Uh, this is just a standard set, right? Um, but the goal is, uh, you are a magic uh, spell slinger per se, and you gotta defeat your opponent. And the way you do it is by casting spells. You have different spells. You have creature spells that summon a creature. And you have spells that are more like, you know, Harry Potter, like Espectro Patronus, where it's just damage or something like that, right? Uh, and the way this plays is very simple in, in a way. Um, if you take a look, let's take a look at this first creature. Uh, welcoming Vampire, right? The way magic plays is, in, in short, um, you got to use your creatures to take out your opponent, Right? And so it's kind of like you summon creatures to try to do damage to your opponent and win the game. Every creature is pretty much, if you take a look, every creature is the same. In the, sa in the sense of you have a name, welcoming vampire. What kind of creature it is. In this case, she is a vampire. A cost. So as you get seven cards... You need to start putting down what are lands. Lands are kind of like in many games, if you've ever played, like, say, World of Warcraft or other games where you have mana, this is the mana you need to cast your spells. So if you wanted to cast her, that means you need to use two mana of any color and a white mana. Notice how there's different colors of mana, white and blue. So if you wanted to cast her, you need to pay, essentially use... Um, one white mana and two of any color. It could be two other whites. It could be a white and a blue. Uh, it could be many, many different ways. Uh, every creature has a power and a toughness. Power is the damage that they put out. Toughness is the damage that they can take before they go down. And then you have rules, like little things that each card is different. Like this card flies and this card... Uh, says whenever one or more creatures with power two, power being here, or less enter the battlefield, meaning you summon them, you draw a card. Right? So if I were to give you this one, Extraction Specialist, is, what is it? It's a creature who is a human rogue. I got to pay two of any color and a white to cast it. It has three power, two toughness, and this is what it does. It has lifelink, which is a special rule that you just need to learn. Um, and then when it enters the battlefield, return to our creature card with minor value two or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. So uh, every and every single card that you see is going to have a different, a different rule, a different thing that it does. Right, if I go, I'm going to randomly stop here. What is this? Neville Gas Beguiler. It's a creature. It's a spirit. I got to pay four of any color in a white. And it's two power, five toughness. And what does it do? Aside from Pew Pew, you can pay one an extra white. You can tap this creature, which means you can't use it. And you tap another creature. So it's kind of like uh, you use it for, to control your opponent's creatures. So um, it's a fun game that uh, requires a little bit of learning up front on how it plays. But once you kind of get it, it's very simple to play. And you know that by seeing that the rules for the game that come with this starter set, for example, are a couple of pages. As long as you understand how each card works, how much mana you got to pay and how that works, you're pretty much good to go to learn to play the game. I hope that made sense. Uh, and one of the things that I could do, I just can't do it tonight, but if you come back tomorrow, uh, Michael, I don't know if Michael's still here, uh, is uh, I normally teach the game in more depth. So, like, what I would do tomorrow, and I do with, uh, I have Pokemon decks too, is I will shuffle those decks and we'll play, I'll pl quickly play a game against myself, per se, so you learn how to play the game. So, if you want me, I can do that tomorrow, without a problem.
And that goes for anybody. If you want to learn Pokemon, if you want to learn magic, if you want to learn Dungeons and Dragons or whatever, uh, I'm always here to teach and uh, sort of get you excited about the games. But it seems like Pokemon, it does. So do you play Pokemon, Michael? Because it's actually very simple. Pokemon, what do you got to do? with where, do where, where are my Pokemon decks? So Pokemon decks are very very similar. You got to pay uh, an energy or attach an energy to a to a Pokemon to be able to do the ability. You don't need to pay any energy to cast the Pokemon or to bring it out of the Pokeball, which you do in 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 Magic the Gathering, but then in Pokemon you got to use the energy cards to use the abilities which you don't need to do it in 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 magic. So it's kind of it's just a different a different sort of look. Uh but Michael if you want to learn a little bit more in depth uh feel free to come tomorrow and tell me in uh before 12:30 uh and I'll teach you how to play in more depth uh, so you can kind of uh, get get an idea how to play. With that, guys, I do think that's going to be it. Thank you, Michael, for the question. Thank you, A. Wilson, for the for the commentary and everything today. Uh, KT Tay for stopping by. And everybody has stopped by. Sam Kohler, um, Jean Jean, Josh, the P, 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 P. And everybody that's been here uh, throughout the night. A big thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by and taking just a moment to come say hello. Uh, we'll be on tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern, once again, for the latest and greatest in tech and games. We'll look at deals. We're going to maybe teach how to play Magic in other games. So uh, if you want to learn to play, all you got to do is come by, tell me, and uh, we're going to do it. All right. Thank you, Mitch F. Thank you, everybody. See you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern for more. Until then, have a great Tuesday, uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're on the East Coast, it's August. You're welcome. Let's go. Bye 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 b